to ymhstudios.com slash live stream to watch the show now. Are you so jellies? Yeah, I actually am. You actually have a queen above 18 <laughs> hoodie. Good morning. From, <laughs> from the God himself. It's pretty this amazing. Is good morning. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. One thing we learned in 2020 is that the internet is awesome. We bought groceries online. We watched movies online. We did doctor visits online. And of course, going to the post office online with stamps.com allows your business to do all the mailing, all the shipping right from your computer. There's no need to leave your home or your office or your home office. Stamps.com has saved small businesses all over the country thousands of hours and tons of money, and now you can too. With Stamps.com, you can get the services of the post office and UPS now, big deal, right on your computer, plus big discounts on mailing and shipping rates. Simply use your computer at home or your home office to print official U.S. postage 24-7 for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send. Once the mail is ready, you just schedule a pickup or drop it, or you can drop it off. It really is just that simple. Stamps.com, it's a no-brainer. Saves you time and money. So make 2021 the year you stop wasting time going to the post office and go to Stamps.com instead. There's no risk. And with our promo code MOM, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in MOM. That's Stamps.com, promo code MOM. Stamps.com, never go to the post office again. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by TurboTax. You're unique and so are your taxes. TurboTax Live has experienced tax experts who listen to you, learn about your unique tax situations and answer your questions. And on top of all that, they can do your taxes from start to finish. Maybe you started investing. You want some reassurance from an expert that you're doing things right. Maybe you're now self-employed, need some expert advice on what qualifies as a home office deduction. Or maybe you'd rather have an expert file your taxes for you so you can focus on what matters most. No matter what your situation is, TurboTax Live's tax experts can answer specific questions, walk you through the process, review your return before you file, or even do it all for you. TurboTax Live gives you confidence that you're uniquely you. Taxes are done right. Into it, TurboTax Live, file with the help of an expert or let an expert file for you. Happy New Year, chomos. We are back in studio. I'm half broken, but I'm ready to do the show. That's right. And I am now COVID negative. That's right. We're both <laughs> negative, uh, testing for the- uh, COVID, you know, 19 <laughs> virus. Uh, we had it. We're over yeah. it. We got the antibodies, and we might be immune for a week. I love that I am now over the Rona because I feel like I'm I'm, I'm I can live freely now. And you're over the Rona, and yeah. you're over eighteen. There's <laughs> a a distinction that's made on your new hoodie. A lot of people they ask must be me, very excited. Are you so jellies? Yeah, I actually am. You actually have a queen above eighteen <laughs> hoodie. Good morning from, <laughs> from the God Himself. It's pretty it amazing. Says good morning. It says good morning. <laughs> everybody knows uh, you know the attention to detail is what i love most about all my sweaters as you know i'm i'm like this the sweater comic yep and this is really unique i like the backwards k it looks a little like uh the kkk but that's okay never thought that didn't Isn't think about it at clan? all do they do a that is what k? the clan that's the the three letters that they kind of if they want to <sighs> I mean, I did. I'm just saying there's a lot of details. It's kind of. I mean, there's. You could have pointed out the Q. It has nothing to do with the clan. <laughs> but that's not as fun, Tom. Yeah. There's, there happens to be <laughs> one letter K, and you're like, the clan. That comes to mind. But it's just an interesting design choice. The I design, design I mean, yeah, no, the design is. It's and then there's kind of an good. Amazon smile. It says Queen Above 18. Mm -hmm. And I support Amazon too, so I like that. There's so much to get into. And there's a little schmutz, too, that came on the sweatshirt free of charge. Yeah. I'm assuming that came from the King's own trailer where he made this or where he outsourced it. I don't know. 
All right, let's uh, let's start the show. You guys ready? COVID nineteen. Let's do it. Hi, my name is Alan. All I am is just a really cool guy who can do some really cool things. That's all I am. Now, people put their belief systems on me. Yeah. Which is why different people perceive me as different things, such as an angel, a demon, a devil, a hybrid, an alien, a supernatural being. Mm -hmm. I'm none of that, though. What are you? All I am is just a cool guy who can do some really cool things. Who is Randy? Uh, Don't bring anyone mother into this. Mm. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Christina Christina welcome to your mom's house. We're back. We're both in studio. I'm not in a hospital. You're not <laughs> quarantining. It's great to be back here. It's great. You know what I noticed is that because of your new bionic glove, mm-hmm. the guitar riff sounded a little different when you played it. Oh, yeah. Well, see, what I do is I I send a code from here to here, and then I, it, it makes the, the wah a little different. <laughs> it yeah. did. It was like a whole new play. Raise hand now. <laughs> Wave. I wish it made sounds. Me too. Me too. But you know what it didn't stop you do? It didn't stop you doing? What? Didn't stop you from fucking. That's true. Yeah. High five. Other hand. We still did it, babe. Yeah. I asked you if you've ever been with a cripple before. (laughs) And you're like, no. And I was like, what do you think? I loved it. It was a whole new fantasy. I was like, Trish... Trish the wheelchair prostitute <laughs> where I r- help men that are paralyzed or in- severely injured or traumatized. And uh, it was like I got to reinvigorate life in your penis. And it was great. Yeah, felt good. Great. Felt good. Yeah, it felt like like a cripple that was, you know, learning to come again. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. There's got to be a. Isn't that a movie? That's a few movies. It's a Hallmark movie. Yeah, yeah. Where the guy's like paralyzed, but he gets a feeling in his dick. And then he's like, I want to come again. <laughs> <laughs> Force Gump. <laughs> Is that <the laughs> Jan Alley? No, it's you? Lieutenant Dan. He's oh, in the right. wheelchair. He's in the chair. I'm like the prostitute that Lieutenant Dan sees. And then Jenny's got AIDS. Jenny's got AIDS. Lieutenant Dan probably is like, I want AIDS. I'm fucking <laughs> in this chair all day. <laughs> Give me fucking AIDS. Yeah. Well, remember, yeah. we had a hot debate on your mom's Did you ever have an AIDS, ago. AIDS uh, person come like speak at school? All the time, yeah. All the time? Yeah, and then because well, I went to school at the University of San Francisco, which was like yeah, the no, epicenter no, no. of the I'm talking AIDS. about like school, like elementary, high school. Oh, elementary? No, <laughs> not an elementary, no. <laughs> I did. <laughs> they brought a lady with AIDS and oh, to talk to us. She's like, I got AIDS. And we were like, oh my God. And she was like, you can't get it like from like looking at me. <laughs> and like had to talk to us about that. And then she was like, you know, this was like now it's not a, death sentence to have hiv but at the time when she talked to us it was and yeah. she was like yeah i'm gonna die because uh like my you know t-cell count keeps going down and we were like damn i know and you just got that from being a whore like, we were just <laughs> like no wasn't it, uh, the story with women was usually my husband was bisexual that's not the usual story i got a blood transfusion <laughs> it's not the usual story <laughs> blood transfusion yes they not from like, dudes. I'm with a bi guy. Yeah, like, huh? I'm sure that happened, but that's not like, this is what's the only, <laughs> like you're like the common thing that happened is that bi men were giving it to it's their It's true though. In San Francisco, it was mostly a mostly. male 
male to male. And then women, the anomaly was that straight women were getting it. Well, as a woman, you're having fluid put into you. That's yep. why it's harder to, to, like a straight man is less likely to get it from a woman that's infected. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And all those so we lucked juices. Out. Woo. Lucked out. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Baby, got the HIV. Yeah. This is a fun turn on this show. <laughs> Look, I, you know. Into HIV talk. I gotta tell you, the Segura house, though, <laughs> we've been through the ringer this month. And mm -hmm. I, I. It I, felt like the house had HIV all month, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, it started with your accident in the beginning of December, December 1. December right? fucking 1st. We recorded <laughs> what was supposed to be our New Year's week show here. We were fucking around in the lobby. We were talking bets about whether I could make a nine foot dunk. We were just like, I was getting ready to do it that night. I remember I talked to Franco Escamilla. He was like, will you do this thing uh, like for this show I have? Like you, you record yourself in Spanish. And we were like talking about what bit I would do. Like I remember all those things from that day, you know? And then driving to this gym and meeting Tristan and his friends and you know, Bert and I taking a COVID, we did COVID tests there to make sure everybody was, you know, clean and, 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 and negative to shoot this piece. We played two on one. We were gonna play, this is what people don't know. So we played two on one, uh, Bert and I versus Tristan Jazz, which the video's on, uh, there's a version of it on his channel, and then there's a version of it, our version of it on the live show, which if you didn't see the live show, it's a uh, it's a rental at uh, ymhstudios.com slash live stream. You can rent it and it'll you can watch it through the 11th. Um, it's no longer obviously a live event. It's just like a, a rental there. May I tell you before you continue your story, yeah. I watched the live show the next day on New Year's Day. You were still sleeping yeah. and it was it was so much fun. It was fun. Watching you and Bert just get fucked up mm -hmm. and dick around and you guys talking about the ridiculous stuff you're into and you guys had so many great guests. It was it was genuinely it was a, a good time. It was a fun show. Yes. Yeah. It was fun for me. I, I needed it and we, it was so fun. Thanks because I, I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, I know some people had tech problems. I uh, we Look, we spent a lot of time <laughs> and a lot of money uh, preparing for heavy traffic. And I know that's a crazy humble brag. I know uh, <laughs> that it is, but it's true. And the heavy traffic, you know, it, for some people, they, they, uh, people messaged me like, I had no problem. I logged in early. I watched the show live. No problem. Other people had problems. Just know uh, we, I apologize. We are continuing to work on it. And the whole goal is to make this experience flawless, which it isn't. So I'm sorry. I know that some people were really upset about it and I was more upset than you. Um, so going back to the show though, like Bert and I just had so much fun. We, we got to do the basketball stuff. We got to do our porno table reads. <laughs> yeah, um, we had an animal expert in here That's with amazing. snakes and roaches and tarantulas <laughs> that were crawling on our faces and shit. <laughs> it was really, really a fun time. Yes. Um, but back to the, uh, the, the month the month yeah about? so so like yeah Dece and this december one the injury happens and then god it just throws the month into chaos what a chaotic i feel like it's one of those things like everybody has their own their own life story and like things that you remember you know that are like traumatic let's say for sure 20 years from now Oh. If you go like, do you remember that December month? I think I'll I'll remember it in detail, like yeah. great detail, like how fucked my month was, you know. Oh, and the like, whole house is in the whole house was upside down. Jesus Christ, man! From getting hurt to like the details of paramedics, hospitals, doctors, therapy, you know, physical therapy, occupational therapy, um, just the little challenges of like putting clothes on and taking a shower and all the little shit that comes with like a, an injury like this. It's wild. And then on top of that, during the pandemic, we get COVID and we get lucky enough where we don't have horrible symptoms. We just like, it's just one of those things where this virus affects different people in different ways. And like your symptoms were even more mild than mine. Like mine weren't that bad. I thought I had Oxy withdrawals, because I came off of Oxy, <laughs> right? I'm taking like a hundred and fucking something milligrams a day. 
right? And then I'm not shitting. And to me, I was like, I'd rather be in pain and shitting than not shitting for days. Like it was, like I hated it because I was having to take, having to get suppositories up my ass to take a shit. Well, and not just that, you were ha- they were forcing suppositories up your butt and then pumping you full of coalesce and you were bedridden. Yeah, so oh yeah, it's exactly. So not, not like, moving. Yeah, yeah, it's not like you go, oh, I have to shit, and then you can just pop up and right. go to the toilet. No, you can't. They th- they're and like, I'm here, fresh. shit in the bed, and you're like, I'm, I'm not shit. fresh out of surgery, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I learned on the live show that Bert, he goes, I love suppositories, and I'm like, what yeah. do you mean? He goes, I take them all the time, and I'm like, you put what? them up, you give them to yourself? He goes, yeah, because it helps like, clear me out. And I'm like, wait, how often do you do this? He's like, every month. I go, you put a suppository every there. month. So then I'm like, well, the only way that that's a regular practice for you is like, you must have trouble. Sh- like you're yeah. you're leaving out the first part, which yeah. is I have trouble shitting, so I do this to relieve myself. And he's like, oh, I guess. I, I guess yeah. he just does it for a good time. He said it feels good to him. I was like, mm, I've, I, I, I don't like I've it. had it exactly <laughs> three times, and it was all the week that I was on oxy's and couldn't shit. <laughs> I've tried a suppository once, and I just put it in just the tip into my anus Mm -hmm. and immediately I was unconstipated. It was just like boop and then I just shit everywhere. I had three put in by three separate (laughs) nurses. Um, One was a guy, two were ladies and um, each time it was like like demoralizing and pretty horrific. Yeah. And then two out of the three times I had to have somebody wipe my ass for me. Oh boy. Until I had like a little more ability to move and turn you know so at first i was like i can't reach back there that like was i was bad. so you know and you're like i'm just standing there and this, i remember this lady goes sorry uh, i keep wiping there's just so much stool Stool. <laughs> <laughs> i was like what uh, stool lady yeah. you mean caca you mean brown shit sash shit. sash weight she was rod like, yeah he's got like a brown. lot of shit back here yeah <laughs> i was shit. like yeah probably like five days worth that's why you gave me the suppository I hate the word stool because it really tries to put a bow on something. It's that's a medical disgusting. term. Stool. Um, that was bad. The day I visited you and yeah, and the suppositories and everything had just started working. Remember that Sunday oh, I came? Yeah. And you, you could barely get up out of bed to shit. It was just it was horrible. A nightmare. It was so horrible. but the, we, we so you go to this I thought to myself rehab. all I am is just a really cool guy. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people think I'm a hybrid. Yeah. Um so then I, we, you know, we finally get you home because you've been at this rehab facility for mm-hmm. another, what, 12, 13 days? Uh, yeah. So I was all together. Let's see. The first oh my God. is the injury. I'm in the hospital. I get out on the 6th or 7th. 7th, you're discharged. And we then go to another place. Go to, yeah. And then from there, I go home on the 19th. So in the meantime, it was like our son Ellis has a fifth birthday. So then dad's not there for the birthday. That was horrible. That sucked, yeah. And then... We get you home, and we're so happy that you're finally home. The kids are, like, outside waiting for you. The ambulance brings you in. We've been waiting to watch Harry Potter with our older boy. We finally get that movie cooking. Yep. And we're all snuggling with Dad and just <laughs> it's like I just got face. home. Yeah, just got home. I just got home. And, and like, an hour into this movie or something? Or no, maybe the, the movie mo- the ended. over, and I get an email. And, by the way, as, you know, you know, and everybody here all we do is get te- we've been getting tested for months now you know we, we hire people that come here sometimes sometimes we go places sometimes the mobile unit meets us like when we shot them like so we just keep getting te- so we're so used to getting these notifications and i opened the email because i had i had just been tested but before i left uh recovery right and i didn't get the result yeah, because they had suspected. They're like, maybe it's COVID. Co- well, because it's because, yeah, that's what we were talking about. I had, so I, when I took myself off of oxys, I just did it one day, right? I, I stopped on the 13th, I think it was. And then Monday's the 14th. And I, uh, they, the, the, one of the ladies had told me, she goes, you're probably going to get bluesy and emotional. Mm-hmm. And I was like, really? And she goes, yeah, it happens when you get off of oxys. That next day, I'm crying about all kinds of shit. Yeah. Fucking commercials. <laughs> Your deep childhood pain. Yeah. Text message. Look at a picture of somebody. I start crying. I <laughs> cry because they switched nurses on me. I'm just crying. Crying all the time. <laughs> but because she had told me that, I go, that's that's what it is. You know? Like, it, like at least it, it added that's up. That's what we all thought it was because I was texting with your doctor too. But, and she's like, it's oxy. It's yeah, a drawing. The next day, I feel worse 
physically. So I feel physically worse. The day after that, I feel even more wiped out, like really wiped out. I have diarrhea like a few a few times. I'm real achy. And then so I go, this is oxy withdrawals, you yeah, know? And it all checks out. And if you look at like the withdrawal, the, yeah. like these are all sim- like possible symptoms. Oh, yeah. So the fourth day, I'm still I'm still feeling pretty shitty. Like I, I remember that like they um somebody had brought food, like one of the staff, and they're like, "Do you want to try this?" And I was like, "I can't. Like my stomach's all fucked up." And they were like, "Hmm." And somebody came back and they go, "Do you want to do like a COVID test? <laughs> like because like we think you have a bug." Because they started to tell me like, "Don't have visitors now because you you seem sick." Something's up, yeah. And I was like, "But they weren't like you need a COVID test." They're like, "Do you want one?" And I was like, well, yeah, let's just rule it out. Got the test. Didn't even think about it. Anyways, we watched that movie at home. I, I go home. I get an email. Ellis is right on you. Yeah, he's sitting right for here. For two hours, yeah. just breathing on my kid. Breathing. I on open the email. Like, it says, da 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 da, uh, test result positive. And I was like, what? Well, no, and don't forget, I had gotten you a medical bed. So I had to find a medical bed for yeah. you. Yeah. It's a little... Yep. Eh, you can do that. Yep. I had a nurse staffed at the house to care for you as well. Mm-hmm. So I, the nurse was ding dong at the door. Don't let her in. Don't let her in. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Tom's positive for COVID. <laughs> and I was like, what? I you call, gotta be shit. Right away, by the man. way, I opened the email and then they call me. And fuck. the lady's on the phone and she goes, hey, I'm from the company you know, that tested you. Uh, and I go, hey, it says I'm positive though. <laughs> like I said it like, <laughs> like how is that possible? Not what happens with and these. And she goes, yeah, y- you are. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah. I felt, and here's the thing. I was already feeling better. Like the, the worst were days it. were behind me. And then I look at you and I was like, oh shit. Like, you, I definitely have given it to you now. Well, not, but I hadn't seen you in a week, so I thought, yeah. okay, maybe there's a chance. I right, didn't you get started it from to glove you. up and mask oh, up in for front of me. Oh, fuck's sake! And then I had to glove up every time, so I put Tom in the basement, okay, which was lucky, because he it's it's really logistics because there's less stairs, so he could come in through the garage and just go into the basement, sleep in that hospital bed, and I thought, you know, I'll just we'll take care of him. The nurse will be here; it'll be fine. So I got a fucking... Yeah, I asked you, by the way. It's, it's pretty funny. I go, why do you have a nurse? I don't need a nurse. And you go, it's not for you. It's for me. <laughs> so I don't have to take care of you. Exactly. Because yeah. I have two small children already who are, you know, four and two at the time. And no nanny because it's the holidays. Like, uh, Christina's already full. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got my yeah. crippled husband home. I got two little hey. kids. I'm, it doesn't get any worse. So then fucking, yeah. So now I'm getting the, what's that, PPO, PPE up. Yeah, yeah. Every time I fucking throw him a sandwich, I'm putting on gloves, the N95, the shield, and I'm yeah. throwing you a sandwich. And you're coming in with a lot of attitude, by the way. <laughs> I wish that nurse had stayed because so she was I. like, ugh, doing a lot upstairs. I got to fucking feed you. And I was like, <laughs> sorry, I'm broken. <laughs> so then uh, I start to feel crappy the next day, a little sniffles, a little something, but uh, no, no, I was sitting there with the kids and I'm sitting there and I go, that's weird. I don't have a taste. There's just no taste in my mouth Sunday night. That's so weird. I go, I'm going to go brush my teeth. I don't taste anything. And I'm like, no way, dude. I can't believe I got the Rona. That's it. That's the Rona. And, but at the time I had a pimple that was giving me more heartache than the Rona. Like I was actually more worried about You're the, very the lucky. Acne. But here's the thing that has come about from this. Your weight loss you're, six pounds. I haven't have, eaten in fucking two weeks. I still can't taste. Or you smell. can't taste or and smell. It's been great. And your other, you, you tested negative. We had you tested yes, again. Lab negative. tested yes. negative. Yes. Uh, you have no other symptoms. You have no taste or smell. And it brings about <laughs> the question: Is it now officially scrum season? Just let me eat you. Can you? Do you think you can? You're, you're not going to taste or smell anything. What if I lift my leg and you eat my scrum? Okay, well, it's an interesting, and um, thank you for bringing that up. It's a good aye, aye, aye. Yeah. I'm a little worried that your scrum hasn't been properly washed in a month. How? Well, why? Because you're doing like sit down showers. Okay, I so let's just go, a thir- let's, do a, let's do a thorough cleaning. I don't know if you've really put soap Let's do a thorough ass. cleaning. That, isn't that the answer? Do a thorough cleaning? Right. What do I get in exchange for the scrum? The pleasure of knowing you please your husband. Oh, please. What would you like in exchange for it? 
Now that's a good question. Let me think about it. Let me think on it. You really need like to really come up with a a, a real exchange for that? Yeah. Well, it's something I don't want to do. So mm. it's got to be worth my while. Otherwise, I'll be resentful. Think about Jesus. it. Jesus. It's got to be an even exchange. That's what a contract is, Tom. I give something, I get something. Yeah, it's wait, a go ahead. What are you thinking? I think this is complete bullshit. Oh, my God. Uh, you were giving me so much shit over not squashing bugs. Over here, you won't even feel the bad things that you were complaining about. You're not going to smell it. You're not going to taste it. And you won't even eat your husband's scrum. I think that's bullshit. Feel the bad things you were complaining about. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. I'm kind of worried about my health, though, because my immune system, I mean, it's had to work hard. And his butt is not clean, Nadav. He hasn't How? washed it properly in a month. Wait, why do you keep that? saying that? I like, thought it's we been can get it washed. Clean. Like, it'll be washed. What, you keep going how? back. How? But how? Because you sit down when you shower. Okay, I'll stand up. <laughs> what, in I mean, the shower? You can't. We can make, like, if you're like, I, the cleaning, man, we just can't deal with the cleaning. Like, we can just get it that's, clean. That's, that's okay, the I'll, hindrance we'll get it clean. here. That's, the, that's what's hanging me up. Yeah. Okay, we'll clean it. So there's there's the answer. Uh, but to my liking, I want to. Okay, we'll get it clean to clean. your liking. So there's the that's there's that now. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna video it for the show. Fuck or no! What are you talking about? Video it. You just want to. You think I? You think that my whole time I'm like, and the thing is, I need a video of this. No, it's just the actual sensation, the feeling. But like there's no, there's no video. Okay. Wait. Okay. What? Let me think about what I want in exchange. Have a, no, 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 no shaky heady, no shaky heady, because I, I deserve something like in what? exchange for a scrum lick. Like what? Remember when I ate dog food and I got a nice ring out of it? Yeah. Maybe it's a nice piece of jewelry to commemorate this awesome year. Okay. Let me think about it. God, I'm a, a lady has a right to fucking decide her terms. You guys, yeah, no, you're don't right. don't okay. shake your head. No, yeah. I have a right. Okay. So initially I'm a cool we guy. were going to uh we were going to Oh by the way, can I talk about my COVID symptoms? Sure. Three days it was a breeze, easy breezy. I was like running around doing everything. And then I lost yeah, no, I lost my taste first. And then day four I was tired. I just slept. I slept day five, day six, and then that was it. And then like I have a little runny nose and a cough. But I'm the lucky. I'm one of the luckier mofos out there. Yeah. I do wish I could carry around a certificate to let people know that I've had it already, so that I'm exempt from like wearing a mask and stuff. Or it'd be nice just to be like, I've had it. I fucking had it. Okay. I'm immune because I do feel like it's a superpower now when I walk around. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel a little bit more powerful? Like, yeah, I fucking got that shit, bro. Fuck I don't you. know if I feel like. I mean, I done had the Rona, bitch. I, I just happy to be over it i'm happy i'm yeah. relieved to not have to sanitize i'm my happy hands. that I, I didn't have like a horrible oh my gosh experience with it same you know, you know? thank god yeah i just got lucky super lucky bro speaking of lucky um if you were lucky enough to watch the live show you saw uh how i broke my body and we're gonna show it to you now um <laughs> one of the things it went it, people ripped oh, it no. so much and put it everywhere you know what's funny is that we had prepared um, parody, like funny things to do to our videos, to, to the dunk video, <laughs> but everybody started doing similar things, sometimes the same thing uh, and more. So we, we pulled some stuff for that. One thing that's lost on everybody because the, only the injury goes viral is that I fucking dunked on nine feet, which you doubted. You doubted. And Who that, doubted? Nadav. He did? Yep. Yeah, I actively bet against it. Yep. He wow. didn't think I could do it. Bet you feel bad now. And maybe Bert you should not. lick Tom's scrum. Bert could not. So here is Bert trying to do it. Nine feet. <laughs> no. Nope. I can't get it. He's so fat right now, I'm at. Maybe that, it's the angling. No, it's not the angle. Um <laughs> so he couldn't do that. Here's your boy. Oh snaps. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I think about right here? I'm so pleased with myself. I'm so happy. Yeah. And it's 
probably T minus three minutes. Can we not? I, do you know that I haven't actually watched this whole video? I've only seen what's gone viral on the internet. Every time uh-huh. I open Instagram, it's like a million memes of you broken. Yeah, yeah. And I haven't actually watched this footage and I don't really want to. So uh, thanks for making me watch this. If thing. you don't want to, this would be a good time to like take your earbuds out or something. Because we're about to play like a whole bunch of mm. videos of it. Okay. I mean, it's up to you. I understand. You're my baby daddy and I love you. I just yeah. don't like to know that you got hurt. I'm going to cry. Don't watch it then. Well, I have to. It's the show now. Okay. I do it for showbiz. Okay. Are you ready? Mm. There's going to be a few. Here, I'll tell you what's coming up. Yeah. We're going to play the real me. thing. And then we're going to play the some of the parodies. Okay. You right? No, I'm tearing up already. I don't like it. Okay. Here we go, guys. Injury video angle number one. Oh, boy. Horrible or hilarious. Oh. Oh. So what happened there, some people think that there's a slip. They're like, you slipped on stuff. People are like, oh, it must have been a wet spot. And that's not what happened. It's just that when I planted, so what we did was I dunked on nine, right? This is the part that's like so ridiculous, is that he couldn't, so it's over. And they're like, I don't know who said, they're like, I think you can get a couple inches more. So they cranked it up to like nine three or nine six or something. And so I go to, I plant off my left foot and my patella tendon snaps. And that's what, that's what's actually happening there. And then my left arm instinctively goes behind me to kind of brace it for the fall. You know, just, it's not a thought, it's just an instinct. And then I land on it and it, it breaks. So this is another angle. Oh boy, I don't like this angle. This is the I other angle as well. Oh! You okay? You okay? You okay? Oh. Yeah. His arm. Yeah. His and arm. Bert helps me right there. Oh. Jesus. Can you call nine? I'm like you like how I'm like. Can you can call nine one one? Like yeah, like you have to tell them because everyone else was so shocked. The other yeah, the camera guy was like his arm, and then you know Bert's like you okay, you okay, <laughs> and let I'm me, like call nine one one. Let me tell you though, the mark of a real buddy right there, a real yeah. friend, yeah, is when your arms jack like that, yeah. and he's not afraid, and he's like here. Buddy. No, he did. I know. I, I mean, mean, and for Bert, especially yeah. Bert. And That's then huge. He uh, waited at the house. Yeah, with, they, they, with did the, they, they did everything. They did everything. And then horrible. the next day, he and, Lin- and Lindsay, by the way, Lindsay helped me out so much too. Lindsay oh took gosh. me home. Uh, Lindsay helped me get to the a doctor and the hospital with Bert. And then Bert waited with me in the uh, well, ER. Let me tell you what else Lindsay did. We had some smoke alarms in the house oh that God. the battery was going and down they're, and they're like fucking i don't know on 12 foot ceilings and or i something. can't reach them she can't reach it i can't stand on a ladder and be like well maybe i won't fall <laughs> so but they started going off at they two did. in the morning like chirp, it was horrible chirp and, we're, and you did you text Lindsay? you just was, happened to mention it to him and he came over and changed them he did and oh then he came gosh. back when so one of them sweet. didn't work, yeah. That was like one of the nicest things anyone's ever done. Ever done. That's right. Yeah. Oh my God. Where I was like, I sent a video just staring at the camera <laughs> and you could just hear, chirp, chirp. And he's like, I'll come right over. Yeah, huge help. Uh, Here it is in slow motion. No. Ooh. So part of why, not part of, the reason I have this crazy glove on is because that break, a very common thing when you break your humerus, is that you uh, you bruise or damage your radial nerve. So I, I got lucky, uh, according to my surgeon, he's like, it's not severed, it's not damaged, just bruised. So that's why I have this crazy bionic glove on. Mm. It helps with the, uh, like some of the... <laughs> Didn't you I actually go? Have, I actually have, by the way, I have uh, neuropathy issues. You have neuropathy issues? I do, <laughs> I have neuropathy issues, so. If you want to see me go from a small limp dick to a hard dick, just watch me come enormous <laughs> amounts of come. I'm going to smoke some meth. I'll just tell me if you want to see it. I'll send you the video. If not, I won't send it to you. But I have neuropathy issues. You have neuropathy. I do, in my hand. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. I yep. think, you know what? Every time one of the therapists mentions it, I laugh, and they're like, why are you laughing? 
So I'll be like, yeah, this hand. She'll be like, yeah, that's the neuropathy issue. And I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> I go, should I smoke meth? And they're like, what? You come in four strokes. Come in four strokes. But I have a feeling that hand, like you're going to, I keep waiting for you any second now to be like, babe, I can move my hand. Oh, uh, it's getting better. Really? It's getting better, yeah. I keep waiting for you just to like get my attention and then it'll be yeah. fine. Ugh, you know what I love is, yeah, you told them to call 911. And I remember when Bert told me the story, he goes, yeah, Tom goes, call 911. And I go, really? Like, Bert doesn't, those guys, I mean, your arm was like a gummy. I just knew, I knew, I knew how fucked I was immediately. Yeah. I mean, did you, what did you like, think happened to you at that point? I, okay, because I, it happens so fast. It happens so fast. But like, when I pushed off on that left leg, I just, kn I didn't know I tore my patella tendon, but in that brief moment, I knew that I was injured. I, kn I knew that something had gone out on my leg. I didn't yeah. know if it was ACL or, or what, but I knew something had gone out. You felt like you felt that it collapsed. It, I, you yeah. knew that it you wasn't, could you see didn't slip or anything. that like, you know, I had just, you saw the one where I just jumped. Yeah. And so I, I, I knew that like, there was no power, right? Like I had pushed off and instead of going up, I was going down. Okay. So I'd felt the power go out of that push off. Mm. And then it, it, I guess, you know, it felt more like something was wrong than tremendous pain. My arm immediately hurt. Like you felt that break and so intense. So yeah, you, did you actually feel it break when it, no, hit? it's just, it, cause it happens like, you snap. know, snap. Oh. It was just that immediately like shock through the arm and my system that like you're in this is a trauma you know yeah so i was just like oh my god that hurts so fucking bad um so i just you know i just held it and i had to just wait that the worst part was like laying on your side like that and like having uh just being like you guys called right like there's somebody and then i could hear the sirens and i was like oh fuck yes and then uh yeah then you know the paramedics they took care of me the, hey, by uh, the way, thank God it happened December 1st and not like last week. Because right now, LA is the epicenter of the COVID oh, yeah. pandemic. You would have been, I mean, <sighs> trying to get into a fucking hospital now has got to be impossible. Oh. With, with, it's overrun with COVID patients right now. Yep. He jacked off in four <laughs> strokes. <laughs> yep. That's what I'm going to be doing now, man. That's what I'm gonna be doing, man. Your dickhead becomes so sensitive. Oh, That's what uh, I'm looking forward to. My dickhead becomes my so fancy. Neuropathy issue. By the way, um, I did love listening to this. Is a sidebar the the Top Dog calls. You did a Top Dog retrospective. Oh yeah, last we did week. Top Dog calls. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, I loved hearing him talk about the Orlando Airport again. All the classics, man. All the hits. If you guys aren't familiar, it was such a good episode to listen yeah. to. Yeah. What episode number is that? What's it call it? What is it? Uh, last week, yeah, last week. So five eight four. Five eight four. We went through some of the big time classics. Um, yeah. So, but but back to that dunk thing. You know, I won. And yeah, most important, you won. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you win? Was there money on? Uh, uh, no, nope, I oh. just I won this. You just <laughs> this is mine now. Your bionic hand and COVID. Um, and yeah, the the live show was the first time in forty one years. That anyone has told me that I'm saying a word oh. that I've said a million times oh. incorrectly. I was like, I was thinking about it because these guys were like, "You're saying Juan and not one," and I was like, "Right." And they're like, "You're saying it wrong," and I was like, "What are you talking about?" No, you're not. It's Juan. I won the game. And then here's, here's the thing, though. But I was like thinking about all weekend how, you know, I like how many times because I know how I've been saying it that way forever yeah where i've been like who won or we won, won. i want yeah, and I won. not one time yeah did anybody go hey you know you're saying that wrong no. not once until the live show that's the first time in my life i have you know i've watched football and bat I, i've asked who won a million no one's ever been like what well it's kind of a it's like everyone around you is a fucking traitor right? i said in a special uh, I think in completely normal. Someone DM'd me some time codes. Oh boy. Did I say that you said one? You said one in completely normal. But I said it the way I say it. Yeah, you yeah, said, that's what I'm yeah. saying. I, I'm not like misrepresenting. You know, I'm no, saying yeah. like I definitely have said it this way. Not a soul has been like you know you're saying I that wrong. because you're not saying it wrong. Go ahead and Google the word one, and you know well, how we've they done have the, this. And what does it say? One. You're kidding. No. 
Yeah. One. Well, what but are here's you guys the thing. Fucking... I will say this. I, I, no, it's not one. Nobody that I respect has uh, corrected me. You know what I mean? Nobody I respect. Exactly. Like everybody who said it like one, I'm like, that guy's a fucking, you know Idiot. what? You know? It, it is not. I mean, first of all, one sounds like you're British. Are you speaking the Queen's English? Exactly. Are you a fucking American? You're a fucking elitist. Yeah. Oh, are we in Downton Abbey? Oh, okay. Yeah, I Lady guess, I guess you live upstairs, there. fucking yeah. Lady Grantham. Oh, I won. Please, won. Yeah. That's what you That's say, what though. You say one. You say, what do you say? They say one. <laughs> I won. Yeah, they say I it. won, daddy. They say it like. Uh, one. This argument's falling apart, guys. One. They, <laughs> they, say it like it's a, they say it like the number. Yeah, it's yeah. not. They're like, I won the game. I won the game, mummy. Mother, I won. I was playing outside. One. And I won. I won. Yeah. One. Yeah. One. It should be W-U-N. One. Mm. You know what? You know what word I realized? Mm. W- one. What? Yeah. W U N is one. One. Yeah. What? Yeah, that'll fix it. That's the right spot. Okay, listen. Okay. I won before one. I won. I agree with you, Tommy. You're right. Uh, may I tell you the word I figured out I was mispronouncing my entire life as well? First mm-hmm. of all, it started with combative. You told me that that's wrong. Yeah. Combative. Mm hmm. Uh, you told me it's not a sun visor, it's just a visor. Nobody says sun visor. Nobody True. says chewing gum. Nobody says that. I'd grown up with foreigner parents, and so chewing gum was always the way I had heard it. Mm-hmm. That's how I said it. Now, here's another word I've been mispronouncing my entire life. Yeah. Ambidextrous. Mm-hmm. I've been saying ambidextrous. Oh, that's definitely wrong, and I've never heard you say that. Ambidextrous. I've never heard you say that. That's because I say anorexic when I'm joking about oh, right, me being right, anorexic, yeah. but yeah. I don't. Ambidextrous. Yeah. Did you say it that way? I said ambidextrous. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's definitely wrong. And I, as God, somebody who is ambidextrous, I can tell you that that's, that's definitely wrong. wrong. Yeah. But when did I become such an idiot? I feel like everything is. It's uh, been taking time. Yeah. 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 And you were raised by foreigners. Idiots. Yeah. See, I had one foreigner, so maybe that's where I got Juan from. I don't know. Well, how does your mom and dad say it? Let's Uh-oh. call your mom and dad. All right. Let's go. All right. Okay. Okay. Your mother and I have been saying <laughs> Juan. Juan. I won the game. I agree. Mm-hmm. One. As them one. W-U-N is one. Let's see. Oh, uh, W-O-N is one. Ah. Yeah, you Let's fucking foreigner. Says. You're a foreigner, too. I know, just but I know when I mi- but I know when I mispronounced it. Hello? Hey, Dad. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? <laughs> oh, I'm doing great. Hey, um, <laughs> I got a quick question for you. You mispronounce a lot of words, and <laughs> I do. Yeah, you do. You really do. What about it? What's a guy who likes kids? Yeah, what's a guy who likes sex with children? A pedophile. <laughs> That's definitely wrong. Um. What's the name of that actor from Goodfellas and and Casino, Joe uh, P E S C I? Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. <laughs> yeah. So, um, there's so <laughs> many. Um, let me ask you something. There's a word. There's a debate in our office right now on the show. The word is W O N. Like if you win and then and it's in the past, you say what? One. Thank you. One. What is it? One. One? I won the game. I won the game. I won the game or I won the game? I, I won the game. Uh, I won the game. Won so the guy who one keeps mispronouncing things <laughs> says it the way you guys say it. That's interesting, Your Honor. That's the argument? Yeah, yeah. that is the argument. Pedophile. It's, it's one. I won the game. Right, right, right. So is um is your wife around? <laughs> oh, she's here. Can I ask her a question? <laughs> oh, sure. Hold on. Tell her. One tell second. her. Tell Juan. her we're doing the show, okay? Juan. Okay. Okay. Mamita. Juan. They're doing the show, and he has a question for you. Here she comes. Okay. Hello. Charo Sang. Como está? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué onda? ¿Cómo le va? Feliz año nuevo. Ahí bien. Feliz año nuevo para ti y para todos los tuyos. Um, I have a quick question for you that might help resolve a little argument we're having at the office, okay? 
Okay. So let's say you and I play a game, right? A board game, bridge or whatever. Okay. Okay. You beat me. And then you, we go obviously. home. Yeah, obviously. And then, and then you, we I'm walk, we go, we go into the kitchen and then yeah. you get to say that you beat me, but you say I, and then the word W O N. How would you say that? I won. I won. I won the game. I won. You say I won or I won? I won. W O N. I won the game, Tommy. I won. I won the game. Won you say game. won, not won, right? I say won. 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 Yeah. I think that's a. His... I won Tom. I won Tom. Like won Tom. Okay. That's how I say it. Like won yeah. Tom. Okay. I won Tom. She's right. right. That's the. Um, that's kind of the point I was looking for. Is that. Because they're saying that I say it wrong. They're saying that I say it wrong because no, I say won and they're saying I should say won. I won the game. Won is the Chinese currency. You say won and they say won? <laughs> yeah. I don't know the difference. Chinese there currency. you go. Perfect. Raised by four and or two. So you say, you say that I won, but they say it's not right, it's won. <laughs> You're saying the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense now. We got it now. Hey, okay, I love you guys. I'll call you later, okay? Yeah, we love Juan. you, too. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Juan. Hmm. Juan. I do Juan. think there's something to you being aligned with my father's horrible pronunciations. Now, anyway. I mean, look. I don't know, dude. Oh, speaking of people. I won our competition. You know what I like to do? I'm with the kids. I'm at the playground. And you know, there's that sweet moment where they're playing in the sandbox. They're distracted. And I can get out my phone and play Best Fiends. I love Best Fiends. I am totally about it, bro. I am a, I'm just into it. I like the colors. I like the characters. I like that it's just difficult enough that it's engaging, but not so hard where you're like, I can't, dude. Because, uh, look, I got mom brain. I got a lot of stuff going on. But it, it's an escape for me, and it's really fun, and you should try it out. It's got 100 million downloads. Um, and, yeah, it's free to download. And also, let's see, what else do they have? More levels, events, and challenges added all the time. So play away. There's always one more level. You never feel like you're going to uh, run out of fun stuff with Best Fiends. The game, the fun, never ends. There are 5,000 levels and counting. So download Best Fiends free today on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. Have you ever said to yourself, I love the fact that I've had the same few pair of sheets since college and I never liked them, but I just keep washing them every week or two and putting them back on my bed like it's normal and I'm normal? Well, you're not and it's not, okay? Get it together, stop. Brooke Linen can make that voice in your head and the bad sheets on your bed go away. Brooke Linen was started by Rich and Vicky who also tried to find beautiful home essentials that didn't cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> and when they couldn't, they founded Brooke Linen as the first direct-to-customer bedding company. They work directly with manufacturers to make luxury available directly to you without the luxury level markups. Brooke Linen has over 50,000 five-star reviews and counting. 2021, do something nice for yourself to start the new year. To help you do that, Brooklinen has a special offer. Go to brooklinen.com, use the promo code MOM to get $25 off when you spend $100 or more, plus free shipping. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Enter promo code MOM to get $25 off when you spend $100 or more, plus free shipping. Brooklinen.com, use promo code MOM at checkout. Speaking of people mispronouncing things and speaking with affects and accents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have been enthralled, inspired. It's the best story of moved. the last year. We have been so into this Ilaria Baldwin story. If you don't story. know, it came about um, about Amy a week Schumer ago. Posted no, no, that's not what prompted it, though. Oh. No, Amy posted... Um, her holding her baby. So yeah. that, that was just really about a, a joke about it's basically kind of like her body. Yeah. yeah. Which, which she's beautiful. She's a, she's a yoga instructor. She's got great genetics. Yep. She's she, had five babies and she looks amazing. Yeah. You wouldn't and, even know. and Amy just retweeted it. And the joke was that she was saying it was her. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But then 
uh, a lady online posted, she goes, you know, it's pretty amazing. Uh, Ilaria Baldwin's decade long grift, grift of pretending to be Spanish. But it was prompted because Ilaria responded to the Amy Schumer joke and uh, made I a video. You. That's right. That's and right. in that video, she She's talks like a normal right, white girl. White girl. And so if you're, if you're confused right now, you should be. So <laughs> it, what happened is Ilaria responds to the Schumer thing and goes, you know, like this is just, we shouldn't body shame. And like, but then the, the online blogger goes, "That's that, yeah." Hey, you know, she's been pretending to be Spanish, which people are like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> and then it comes about this. I love this story because, as we've discussed, there really is it is a harmless story. It's a victimless crime. It is, but it is fascinating. <laughs> it is. It's fascinating. <laughs> yeah. So what happened was the lady found that Alec Baldwin's wife, Ilaria, is actually named Hillary, and she changed her own name like as an adult to Hilar Hilaria. And if you look at her, like what was her bio, it was like from Spain, born raised. In, like, born in Mallorca is what it the, said on these, like, her bio. Yeah, it changed, it's now bio. changed. They changed right. it. But originally she said, born in Mallorca, she's a Spanish yes. woman. And then she said things in interviews like, I came to New York at from 19. Spain. And, I, and I've loved it ever since. She claimed so to come to of, university as, at 19 yes, and yes. then never leave. She's and like, like I love implying America. that I came from Spain. Uh -huh. and, it, and then like, so they had, you know, a Spanish wedding and then all the kids' names are like super Spanish, like Carmen, Lucia, Eduardo, Pau, like all these yeah. very, very, very Spanish names. And you're like, okay, was the Spanish lady. And then the lady pulled clips mm. of... Ilaria doing like press and speaking English with a Spanish accent. Not only that, but also even going as far as having difficulty with English words. We have very few ingredients. We have tomatoes. We have, um, how do you say anything? Cucumber. Cucumbers. We have um, red pepper. How do you say in English? Uh, how do you say cucumber? And you're <laughs> like, wow. So great. And then you go, so you heard that clip. And then this is also um, the same person, the same person who was just saying. We have very few ingredients. We have tomatoes. We have, um, a, how do you say in English? Cucumber. How do you say in English <laughs> cucumber? So this is her. there's been some questions about where I'm born. I'm born in Boston. And then I spent some of my childhood in Boston, some of my childhood in Spain. My family, my brother, my parents, my nephew, everybody is over there in Spain. Now I'm here. And so there was like a lot of back and forth my yeah. entire life. You know and what I mean? I'm really lucky that I grew up speaking two languages. Yeah. So, <laughs> and this thing, like, it keeps unraveling. So there's other <laughs> clips of her doing other press, like interviews where she's like, yes. And like, <laughs> But I love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's like you, because I was thinking about you yeah. could do this. I crap. actually have more credibility yeah. to do this, and I understand the appeal to a degree. Like I do too. It's, you know, it's sexier, it's yes. cooler to be like have exotic, exotic, foreign, speaking a speaking English with like because there's speaking English with a shitty accent, and then there's like <sighs> if you speak fluent English with a hint of a Spanish accent. It sounds, it sounds it's cool. good. It sounds cool. It's, it's attractive, you know? Yeah. Um, and like, who hasn't done a semester abroad? Yeah. And you come, I remember, I remember when I, I studied in England for two semesters and I came back and I was like, cheers, mate. You know, yeah. like you're a fucking asshole. Of course. You come back and everyone's annoyed I with remember you. so specifically that I flew back from, sp I, I studied in Madrid for a semester <laughs> and I flew back and the first thing we did was go to a wedding in D.C., all the Seguras, like my, my, my family, meaning my da my dad's, all his siblings and their children. So it was like a big thing. And I went. I was in D.C. and I was in the hotel. I remember I had this like cream-colored suit, and I was speaking to my mother in Spanish, and I was correcting her because I, my Spanish had improved to such a degree for six months living there, and hers had hers actually, you know, it, it deteriorates because she's yeah. living in the United States. And like, I remember her being like, Jesus, your Spanish is better than mine. Like, I remember that, you know, but I wasn't like, eh, eh, how do you say this uh, microphone in English? A microphone. Yes. 
Uh, I was just like <laughs> correcting her. Now, here's something that does happen if you're immersed in another language and culture for an extended period of time. You do do things like uh, dream in that language. Like I, by the end of my semester, I was dreaming in Spanish, instinctively answering the phone in Spanish. You know what I mean? Like I, I wasn't, I was, I was fully immersed. So sure, like, you know, coming off the plane, my brain was probably operating more in Spanish than in English. You yeah, know? Like for sure. Landing. You were in it. You were I in was fully country. in it. I mean, I'm writing... I'm at University of Madrid writing term papers. Yeah. In Spanish, you know, like all your conversations. I'm living with an old lady who doesn't speak English. Like you're really, really in it. I understand like if in that moment, but if you're like, you live in the United States and you're, you're like, how did me, eh, eh, como se dice, mano, hand. I have hands. Like that does not happen. It is so great. And especially because I, I've, read every article like the daily mail oh the there's so many the new york six. times did a fucking 90 minute interview <laughs> with her know. but uh the neighbors all say no hillary it was her name yeah and girls from high school she went we she was lovely in high school but yeah. she is a hundred percent white girl from boston and they're very wealthy and we never heard of her spending an extended period of time in spain or anything like that Growing up, so it's just it is fascinating. I can, I totally, I get it. Like, I get it. Too. I get it, and that's it's that's like, why it's a great. Story. You know what it is? You're it's like, it's right. the also like you've heard these stories where um, a person pretends to be, uh, let's say, success, rich or a doctor. Or, yeah. You know, you know, and you're like, why'd they do that? It's like because they wanted you to perceive them as that. Yeah. You know, like I'm pretending to be from. There's stories of people pretending to be from another family. Someone pretended to be a Rockefeller. Oh, and wow. you go, why? That's well, cool. it makes sense, right? Like, yeah, it's cool. He was fucking whatever Johnson, yeah. Dusty Johnson, and then he was like, no, no, I'm Rockefeller. I know. And people treated him differently, and it was the, its of own course. experience. And you go, like, I, I mean, it adds up. Well, I, she wants to be exotic. Of course, she wants to be special, and, and who she doesn't? She wants to be exotic and special, and she probably knows that it makes her husband's dick, dick hard. hard. Yeah, yeah. Well. Because that was one of that, the theories. That is one of the theories is that he was into Selma Hayek. They're saying so in Thirty Rock, Selma Hayek had a three to six episode run. This was the theory that people were throwing online. Yeah, and that he was at the time single and smitten with her. Like he just, he thought she was the best. He bought her like a couture gown. Yeah. that she wore to some event. She was like, Alec bought me these for doing like five episodes of Thirty Rock, <laughs> and so you know. But and then he met her. Shortly thereafter, and people were like, she knew that he was into, was her. into her. I don't know. It's a theory. You know? It's a theory, but is Salma, isn't she from She's Mexico? She's Mexican, but I mean, she speaks English she done the with Mexican a heavy, group. a beautiful, sexy <laughs> accent like this. But she's from Mallorca, so I see the Castilian. It's different in the Castilian. It's different, but it's different. 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 It's different, Depende de donde eres, ah. diferentes palabras y el acento diferente, pero es that. castellano, no importa. I love it, it's so great. So she's taking a hiatus from Instagram right now. She she got blown up and, and she's, I'm sure. I feel bad. I actually feel bad for her. I did Not too. badly. Not bad. <laughs> I feel bad for her. Because it is, like you said, a victimless crime. It it's is. silly. It's like, it sucks that she's I don't want her to get it. horrifically shamed. I don't either. I just think it's kind of. It's it's actually endlessly fascinating and hilarious. It's hilarious. And I also think there's part of a schadenfreude for me because I followed her on the gram long ago because she's one of these per perfect moms, okay? Mm -hmm. She's one of these women who's like, I have five babies, I weigh 90 pounds, here's me two days postpartum in a thong, and yeah. I look beautiful. And part of me is like, fuck you. But then you go, you know what? She's athletic, yeah. she's in great shape, Muzzle, more power to you, you know. But yeah. part of me did get a little joy. I think that's what also the shitty person Here's, in, in yeah, me yeah. goes, oh, look who's not so perfect anymore. Mm -hmm. Like I, the, the shit bag in me, I'm saying, uh, enjoys The part of me that feel, bit. I understand that, I understand that. I like to see her get knocked down. Right? Everybody likes that. I mean, people like seeing me break my arm. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> You've brought so much joy. He, to here's the that. thing, though, that about, about, um, that I feel bad for her is, and, and, and no one's really talking about when a regular citizen marries a celebrity and is thrown into the limelight. Mm. Like, I think that That's is a be tough, big yeah. factor sure. in the story is that like you marry 
and I don't know, Oscar and Emmy and I don't know. Well, he's probably won everything. You know, he's a phenomenal actor. He's very famous. And you go, I, I'm married to this person now. And you cultivate your own personality. Oh, that's interesting. Like what's you know? special about me? About me because everybody right. wants to talk about this guy right. that I'm around all the time. What do I have? Yeah. And it's like, you know, that my personality. Oh, what's my identity? Well, I'm, I, I speak Spanish. I spent time in Spain. That's and like totally I see it, it kind of kind of coming from that you know this is an explanation about the uh mixing up words and stuff um so that was one thing i think people ask sometimes one thing. about how i speak i am that person that if i've been speaking a lot of spanish i you know tend to mix them and if i'm speaking more english i you know doing a lot of english then i mix that mm-hmm. <laughs> i don't know I don't cucumber, cucumber, cucumbers, cucumbers. No, how do you say? Time. How do you say? Cucumber. I did cucumber. I did it. You did it. Is that what happened there? How do you say? Cucumber. Nope. Cucumbers. That was all you. Oh. You just pushed it away. Okay. And I have to say, and Adav, maybe I don't know if you experienced this growing up. As somebody that did grow up in like a totally foreign house, I think for me growing up, like I didn't want to be different. I didn't want. I I wanted to be American so much that, or or at least a good European. You know what I mean? Like, couldn't I have been like? French or Italian right. or German, like Hungarian is this obscure thing and it wasn't cool. Nobody's at like, all. oh, Hungarian, that's yeah, awesome. Stoked. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Yeah. I know. Same thing for me, by the way. I was like, my mom's from Peru like, and they're where? like, like the little fucking Indian people. And yeah. you're like, all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. Nobody knows anything about Hungarians. Like, it's not glamorous. And I think when you do grow up different, it's not the thing. Like, you, I just wanted to be like everybody else. So, I guess, yeah, I guess it's just interesting where you're like, oh, yeah, but if you really do grow up different, it's not fun. It's like you just want to hide that. You want to hide the fact that your mom. But Spain's a cool one. It's a cool one. If like, you say like, like, I mean, I remember being in school and like a bunch of like, everybody kind of identifies. I went to a small school when you have um, foreign parents. So it was like kind of like the foreign parents crew. <laughs> right. So there's like, I mean, you just knew that, like this kid's parents yes, are from China. This totally. kid had parents from India. There was Persian parents. Then I had a friend who was, um, her mother was from Cuba. Her dad was Dominican. Then there was an Argentine kid. And I was like, Argentina is definitely cool. That's sexier. cool. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? French, when the people are like, that's they're the French. That's like kind of the best. Italian? Though. I Where wish Were your parents from Italian. Paris? Yeah. That's fucking rad, you know? Yeah. I was like, everyone I told, they were like, oh, Machu Picchu, huh? <laughs> is your mom an Inca? And you're like, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, it's not sexy or cool. No, I get it. And like, you know, my mom made me cow brains for dinner. Oof. And you're just like, I don't want anybody knowing that stuff. Yeah, no, I know. So it's funny to me, like, dude, you're lucky enough to be born just like a regular white American yeah. rich girl. Like, just just do that. Please. Um, That's all I wanted was just to be normal. So and anyways, white. take it easy on Ilaria. I like, know. Let her live. And I still love her. And I hope she comes back to the grams. I hope she comes back too. And uh, how do you say... Uh, <laughs> Como se dice, like, uh, make uh, posts, videos, videos. <laughs> videos. I videos. like videos. Um, we got to switch now to, we, we jumped over the injury parodies. Oh. This is all the, all the joke stuff. There's been amazing memes. If you go to my uh, Instagram, <laughs> I, I posted some, like, screen grabs of some of the amazing stuff people have done. The... Um, but the memes have been out of control. The videos. I can't <sighs> I, I can't them. open social media without seeing this injury a thousand times. Like I'm tagged obviously in everything everybody makes of it. Some of it's really funny. Uh, so here's um this was Mr. Clavicles made this one. He's been doing a ton of stuff. That his arm. His arm. If you're, <laughs> if you're listening, <laughs> I want <laughs> Mr. Clemens. <laughs> if you're listening, all that audio was over the Asian garage car guy. Jesus Christ, um, Mr. Here, Clavicle. Here's another one. Did we make? I, I don't know which ones we made. The, in, the did, rest of these we made. We did. Okay. Here's another one. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That was Buckle great. Not. That's a great one. Here's another one. Oh, same, different angle. Uh, here's the crane fall guy. Oh, 
<laughs> oh boy. Woo. Okay. Here's the. Oh. <laughs> Fall through the floor. Remember this guy? Yep. He's a fine. I remember this guy. Oh uh, yeah, this one I found out I was wrong on. What's that? Well, I'll tell you in a second. I just don't understand. Ah. <laughs> so, I thought that guy was fine. That fell right there. He's not. Yeah. How not fine is he? No longer with us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I still don't understand... How he got? Well, I don't understand how he got hit by a blade. Which I, part don't you understand? I don't see like it doesn't seem like the blade is. There, is there like a front rotor on that thing? Like how is that blade hitting him? I feel like probably what happened was maybe some ice. Like all it takes is like I've seen things where it's like people tape a penny to a helicopter blade, and as it's going, it like spins everything out of control. Like the tiniest imbalance will cause it to like fuck hmm. off. Well, also, if you've ever gotten into a helicopter, they tell you to crouch down. Well, of course. Severely, because it's an optical, I think an optical illusion, no? Like how fast the propellers are, yeah. it's misleading how much height So that have. guy was like a beloved guy. Oh. He ran a tequila company, mm. and he's just totally dead now. Mm. Shit. Give it to me, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can feel it. Mm. Oh, that's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That's good. I one. like that one. That was a good one. Good Leo one. I miss him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, not this one. Oh, oh shit. That's <laughs> 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 fucked up. That's fucked up, man. You made that? I mean, you know, me and Zola brainstormed on that some was, good ideas. <laughs> that was a good you guys one. are <laughs> damaged. You are beyond. Well, that's the <laughs> whole thing about like uh, with this whole injury thing. I think I'm more okay with seeing these injuries now. Yeah, you've seen it so many times now too. Yeah, I barely have to look away anymore. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. That is a good thing. I'm so happy for you. I yeah. I, 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 I can't. Oh God! I broke my leg, dude. <laughs> I, I know. I, I, uh oh. Same. <laughs> Okay, and then there's one more. This one you can watch, I promise. Ready? So you know, you know how to do me in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come now. I'm gonna come now. I'm coming. <laughs> I miss him. I love him yeah. when he comes. I, I didn't notice he has a snowflake around his neck. Wow, well, you just picked up on that. Yeah, huh? yeah, I didn't see that. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, the memes, the videos, like I said, I, I, I screen grabbed a few. I put them on my Instagram through the NBA 2K one, the Iverson one, uh, the Stand By Me one. There's oh, the, I like that The one. Jurassic Park one. So funny. So, so good. Hmm. Um, let me see here. There's so many things here. This says horrible or hilarious. Can Might I go as well. piss real quick? Okay. Can, you want to give me the bucket? Yeah. We went pee. Are you so jealous of my cool sweatshirt? It's fucking really cool. Oh. It's really cool. It actually had us thinking because when we we saw it came in i got super jealous and we were talking with the staff like man you know it's not fair christina's got a cool queen above 18 thing kind of when it made us go down memory lane of like the king's you know stuff like yeah. his videos like, like learning about him because we first learned about him just as a boob guy right you know like, a lot of people evolved. don't remember it's evolved like this is how we actually first came to know this guy. Good morning, ladies. It's six o'clock in the morning. It's time to go to work. Get up and let them boobs hang. Come on, make some videos right when you get out of bed before you put that bra on. You have a wonderful day, girls. Can I tell you something? In my opinion, that's the best video he's made. I agree. It was pure. It's very pure. The intent was clear. And it's like, I'm a, I'm a, dry, a truck driver. Yep. It's early. Yep. I love tits with no bra. Yeah, that's what this video. It was this was actually what I was saying I think a week or so ago, or last time we I recorded with you about how like that's that's the video he should be putting out. I agree, Tom, because it's um, a genuine plea. Mm -hmm. It's his earnest wish, 
And it's not this convoluted thing of I'm your boyfriend. Let's role yeah. play. And well, let's get there. <laughs> the first impulse is often the correct one. Exactly. Very nice boobs. You guys <laughs> keep it up. I love the videos of the no bras. You guys have a good day. Still, Very beautiful women. Still in that lane. And and you'll notice he didn't put on the disclaimer above 18 Not yet. yet. It's not there yet. So something happened in between <laughs> this. Good afternoon, my queen's <laughs> above 18. Yeah, and right here he's like. We got a mock-up shirt that we've done with a marker just to show you what it's going to look like. Who's this nice These lady? are the muscle She's shirts. definitely above 18. And it's going to say queen's above 18 when the printer prints them. We just took a marker and marked on them. We got that part. It's going to say queen's above 18, but... <laughs> We're just having fun with it, so we threw a smiley face. A smiley face. You have a wonderful night, and enjoy the video. And she's going to start laughing here in a minute. There she goes. You guys have a wonderful night. This is what the muscle shirt's going to look we like. We got it. Jesus. But it's going to be so professionally done. We're well, just no, we having got fun it. tonight. Yeah. Well, because you guys have a lovely night. Thank the you. King loves God. Queens Wrap above it up. 18. Good night, Queens. Now, it is cool to see you see the original. Right. And then now you get to see the, the finished product. Finished product. Totally yeah. different. I mean, uh, you can see how the concept evolved. You see evolved. the idea. Yeah. I also, I'm like, uh, I'm like does she? She seems so happy. I wonder if she loves the queen, the king. I'm wondering what their relationship is. Because she also is willing to like model the shirt for him. The you muscle know? shirt, right, with the boobs out. Wow. I mean, they. Do you think they're lovers? I don't know. Do you think they're just neighbors? I don't know. I'm curious. I'm very curious. More my queens above eighteen. I have got a very special request going out. This video is the very. Very, very request. Very special. Very It's request. going out to a queen above 18. She just turned 50 years old. <laughs> and she had a good game in golf. <laughs> Par four. Oh, my goodness. That, that's amazing. I don't know anything or how that works. I'm not into the golfing or anything like that, but... Par four, four strokes, that's pretty good. You guys need to get on my page and wish Christine <laughs> a very, very happy birthday. She just turned 50. He said this. And God. a good job. My okay. queen's above 18. The king loves you. Okay. D his videos do drag. So right? you're, oh, yeah, yeah. You're totally right that they've started off like, like boobs, nice. Hey, keep yeah. those videos coming. And then he's like, hey, hey, hey. Who's over 18? So something happened. There was, something. There was There's definitely. I, I, I'm going to guess. This is just what I know about TikTok. I'm going to guess somebody on the talk reported him. Mm -hmm. And they're like, hey, there's this weird guy out there just asking for boob pics. And he's going to have, you know, minors might do it. Mm. And then he probably got like pulled down from the talk or something. I don't think it was probably that far. I think it was probably more like somebody saying you should make a real clear distinction between that when you ask for these boob pics and stuff that you're asking it from people over it and he was probably like yeah of course, of course. and then it got yeah. freaked out because i don't i don't think the king's intent was ever to ask for boob pics from minors like well, I, i'll just tell you right I don't now think so. from me i i prefer way above 18 <laughs> and if you're gonna send me nice pics of you with your boobs just hanging be above fucking 28 you know 28 go above that queen's above 28 yeah for me i don't queen's above i don't 30? want an 18 year old that's a child to me that is creep salad yeah. hey queen's above 30 you like them hangy and purple and boobs. mushy yeah. <laughs> you're like queens after childbirth only yeah wait yeah. also what i really like about this video is I, I know that he's oh, sorry for that too I know that he's a truck driver, and so he's using his spare time, which is really resourceful and really cool. But maybe choose an area of the parking lot where semis aren't backing up, and you can hear the he's constant a busy guy. He's beeping. He's a busy guy, man. What do you want to do? Evening, my kings and queens above 18. And then kings. he incorporates the kings now. Yeah. This video yeah. right here goes out to a very special queen above 18, Christine from Mom's house. Christine, I still love you. Okay. I know that you didn't mean what you said. You just said it, not even thinking. 
What'd you say? I say you need to let me take you out on a date and Love take it. you to dinner. Oh. Yep. And show you the real king. <laughs> show you how I am and show you what I'm all about. What's the squeaking? And you might Moving. like me. You let me know if I can do that. Mm -hmm. I would be like, glad to do that. You have a beautiful night, my queen. You are beautiful. You're beautiful. I'm going Thanks. to make you my queen of the year. I don't want to be. You know be. Tom, yeah. you take care of that queen <laughs> over there. I love you, my queen, above 18. <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy if that's who you ended up with, though? <laughs> no, I don't mean like instead of me. I mean after me. Like, <laughs> what if you're like. You pass? And no, you're just like, I'm, I'm, I want to see what, what else is out there. Yeah. And I'm like, what? And then I just don't see you for like a few mm -hmm. months. And then you just pop up and you're like, hey, I'm living with my new husband now. Do you know that? We don't even and know I'm his like, name. What? And you're like, yeah, I went out with him and it turns out he was great. And so now I live with him. I live in Ohio. What's his name? I don't know. Do we know his name? Mike? Steve? Steve. There He's you a, go. I, I, it's a Steve. And you're like, it's just me and Steve now. I'm like, babe, what the fuck? And you're like, I just moved on. Probably like, you don't get it. Steve, first of all, pays a lot of more attention to me. He cares about me. He calls me his queen. He takes me out to nice dinners all the time. Sometimes we go to Chili's. You did tell me you wanted better nicknames. W wh like a couple weeks ago, remember? I don't remember. You're like, can I, can I get some better like pet names? Well, because like, yeah, you call me farts all the time. Yeah. You're like, hey, farts. I'm like, or no, tit no. Tit slop. Tit like, slop. Yeah. Nothing. Sloppers. Yeah. Yeah, could you not call me like? Yeah, that's true. All your nicknames for me are just d demeaning and mean. <laughs> See how funny you think it is? Farts. Yeah, sloppy. Your big. Get your big sloppy tits over here. You always <laughs> say that to me. <laughs> your dumpy flap wagons, dumpers. Uh. But um. And you know what I do like about him too is that he travels a lot, so. It, I could probably drive around with him. Yeah. See the country. Let's see what this is real quick. Mm. Hey, what's up, man? It's cool to be recorded like this because I told you. I'm, yeah, I told you. I told you when I walked up here. You've been like, coming up here over and over and over. I asked you a different day besides today. Yeah. Please not to park on my road. You Listen, this is no, a free you road. You said you wouldn't. And then today you this. were here again. I came up to you and I said, I am not okay with you parked here if Look you're here. recording me. I would appreciate it. you said it. you wouldn't record me. Well, you go I ahead and do what you want. Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. A single mother on the road. I asked the bank if you could park there and she said you were already recording. Listen, I'm going to go make a police so report on you, okay? You're going to make a police report on me because mm -hmm. I asked you not to record me. I feel like this is you and me arguing. Hey, hey, now I'm recording okay. you because you're in my face again for the third face. time I'm today. God, he's care such what a you menace. Guys are doing down there, okay? You me. You are well, then you should stay off the tweak, okay? No, That's I'm a good point. If you're on the I'm tweak, saying, I'm not. I don't care, care, okay? I'm a single mother. Why would I not be afraid of you? Look at your. Car. I'm not out to even do nothing. I'm loading my information. Listen, listen. I'm loading my information. Just do whatever care. you want. You want to fill my car? Go ahead. <laughs> that was just a little. Such I had an to. Asshole. I had to get it in. Yeah. Fat smoker. Oh, I know who it is. You don't have to tell me. Oh, I get it. But then something happened to the king. We'll go back to the king. Oh, okay. He wanted to take you out on a date. All of a sudden, the king challenge went away. Good evening, my kings and queens above 18. I am going to withdraw the king challenge. Remember this? This was huge news. Huge. There is a lot of haters out there that's got their little pussies up in a bind, and they're acting like little whining or crybabies. Yeah. If you are 18 and above, yep. you are allowed on my page. There you go. If you are 18 so and below, is, you are this not is the breakdown. allowed on my page. I don't care ifs and buts about it. If I find you on my page and you're under 18, I'm going to delete you. You might slide by a couple times yep. and tell me you're 18, but once I find out... That's what happened. I'm deleting you. That's what happened. Simple as that. He was, I, yeah. You guys are the biggest crybabies on the earth. Yeah. I swear to God. My queen's above 18. I love you all. Yeah. Some Someone snuck in there. Yeah, he started a little dialogue with someone that he wasn't supposed but to. But then you were right, though. That Good evening, my kings and queens above 18. 
It ain't that I'm ignoring you. I cannot post anything on my page yeah. or answer any TikTok of your will questions. Suspend you fast. They said I was violated or something like that, that I can't post anything. Hell, I didn't even get a dinner or a thank you. Damn, mm, and they violated me? Yep. Wow. That was a joke. Yep. Well, at least I didn't feel it. That was a All right, joke. my queens. He tagged it. You guys have a beautiful Thanksgiving, and I will be back probably Wednesday. What is it? I love we my queens above okay, 18. Okay, wrap it up. My kings, I you take care of my queens while I'm gone. Okie dokie. Bye bye now, Steve. Them. Hang up the phone, Steve. You hold a high honor. Oh my God. You take care End of the, the video, while Steve. I'm gone. You guys have a beautiful night. And where is he reporting from now? What is 18. this? It's a cool room. His energy is so low, too. Like, you think he'd be more stoked. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a <laughs> that one, oof, man. Yeah, TikTok will suspend your ass. That's why you see a lot of these people disappear and then they open up a new account mm -hmm. with a new username and everything. It happens quite frequently to the lunatics then, that I follow. Then he debuted the goods that I'm super <laughs> jealous of now. Good evening, my kings and queens above you. 18. All right, this is what you guys have been asking for, oh. a sweatsuit. Sweatsuit. Kings and queens above 18. You got the hoodie. Mm -hmm. you got the hoodie. And you've got the pair of pants. I got, got the it. pants too, just so you know. Yeah. But again, it's a really easy process. You just email him and then he writes back to you. And then you, you send... go over your size, your credit card information, <laughs> your address, <laughs> kind of double check it, triple check you it. Get to open up a Venmo account and a PayPal. Send him that. You might get the payment. <laughs> make sure that the sizes are right. Give me your address again. And I'll email you back. It's easy. Easy process, guys. Yeah. Five weeks later, I got my... <laughs> Cool sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah. Now you're jealous. Uh, this video goes out to the Christine of your mom's house. Well, we said our podcast. I watched name, the right? show. Thank you. You're welcome. I love the show. Sweet. So, when are you going to let me take you out? Uh, yeah. What the fuck? Well, here's the deal is that he doesn't respect the sanctity of marriage. If he respects the sanctity of he kings does. and queens, he does. He wants to take me out on a date, babe. I don't date other guys. I haven't dated other guys in a million years. Yeah, but I mean, he just wants to take you out to dinner. It's not that crazy. You want me to go on a date with the king? Yes. <laughs> dinner? What's wrong with dinner? You can have dinner with people. Oh, God. You can't have dinner? All right. I'll go out to dinner with him. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, but I don't, where does he live? I got to go fly in out. Ohio. He's in Ohio? Yeah. I love Ohio. I'll book a gig. And That's I'll what I'm saying. Go to a show. You know, maybe in the summer, right? Things get better. If he's better. still interested, I, I don't want to lose his interest. I think he'll uh, take you out to dinner. I got to get out dinner there. now. If one thing leads to another, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if like the next morning you're going to be getting this front Good and morning, center. my queens above 18. <laughs> right. Wow. Come on, open them eyes up. I got your open breakfast Open the M eyes up. <laughs> Coffee's on. Okay. Breakfast is on. Come on. You got to go to work. This is the night after your there date. There you go. There you, you go. Catch your flight, Christine. <laughs> I just love my queens above 18. Oh, you man. You are gorgeous. That is so sexy. Turned All on. Right. I am feeling him. You're feeling it, right? You know what I like, too, is like he's taunting you. Like he kind of wiggles back and forth. He's mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm just a playful bear. Playing with bear. you. Playing yeah. with you. Yeah. What's this? Good morning, my queen above 18. <laughs> Let me just move this off your face. Yeah, just, okay. Hi, good morning. What's that? <laughs> Let me just pull it out of your mouth real quick. Oh, it's wet. Nice. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Mm, I slept great. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee's on. You gotta get ready for work. Yeah, you're so beautiful. What? <laughs> your arms are numb. Well, it's because they're tied to the bed, silly. No, I'll feed you. Yeah. I hope you have a great day. Okay. That's very funny. This is awesome. That was submitted by Kyle O'Brien of the That's Not Funny podcast, and he's a huge mommy. So wow. shout out, Kyle. That was Yeah, if you want to send in your own, email it to yourmomspodcast at gmail.com. No house. Yourmomspodcast at gmail.com. Subject line should be POV King. <laughs> So that we can easily find it. Let's have some fun with it. Let's you have know. some fun with it. And also, if you don't mind, let your boobs hang. 
You know, the queen likes those videos. Yep. The POV is when it went a whole new direction creatively for the king. By the way, I'm super jealous that you have uh, king, queen merch. <laughs> um, people have been so funny. They've been asking about um, injury merch and suggesting stuff. And I'm like, I don't know if you've seen what we have. Uh, if you go to store.ymhstudios.com, we have some pretty epic <laughs> new merch. That was designed by Johnny Pemberton. So funny. It's the Air Segura logo with a broken arm and broken leg. It's um, it's a hot item. It's great. People are really, really liking it. <sighs> Johnny If you Pemberton. go back there, um, there's that. That was designed by uh, Cam at Canvas Design. He did the Two Bears, One Cave official logo of me falling <laughs> in the air. Um, I love it. <laughs> That's a, that one's fantastic. And then the I love the the caricature one to the left there. That one, because that's like a T-shirt that used to be really popular in the 90s. would be like NBA players, and they'd always have like a shit-eating grin on. <laughs> like they'd be like dunking with like a, and they do like a little caricature. So it says dunk champ, and I'm in a wheelchair with a big, big grin. Anyways, all those are at the store. The store has uh, things broken down from, oh uh, yeah, there's a photo of me on the dunk champ mug. Um, bro broken down into uh, different shows <laughs> and, and uh, you can see all the all the stuff there. It's a new site, ymhstudios.com. The store is store.ymhstudios.com. It's awesome. Um, any hoodles, back to this. We actually have, uh, so you know who we lost touch with, right? Uh, it was oh, a, I know. It was a while ago. Um, Imagine a pig with tits. Norm Summerton. Man, Norm Summerton. He took himself offline. He was. He went through a phase of um, shame. What's the word? Yeah, punish self-flagellation. Yeah, he was just totally gone. And we reached out to people that know him, and they're like, he's, you know, he's kind of withdrawn right now. And then he came back. Thank God. Good morning, pigs. Yes. It's Pig Norman Summerton. My mistress friend from upstairs just eyebrows. left yeah, of course i cut her ashes from her cigarettes because i use them as a spice on my cooking when i'm cooking my meat but i also make sure i clean her ashtray after she leaves with my tongue of course oh he's back mm -hmm. he is she back. can't have a dirty ashtray when she comes down no of course not that's right now, what do you, are these ladybugs on his eyebrows now? That's a new tattoo. That's new to me. Yeah, I what seen are that those before. in between the eyes, you guys? Are those ladybugs or they look like scrotums them. or something? Maybe pig snouts? You know what I like? Maybe, oh, pig snouts. You know what I like when he says, good morning, pigs? Yeah. That's kind of neat. That's okay, a nice sweet. way. Like, like good, good morning, pigs. You know, like mm -hmm. the king's halfway there with his phrasing. He doesn't really have it. But good morning, pigs. Is nice. Hello, pigs. Is Hi. Pig Norman Summerton. Hi. He's down a pint of pain, so he's going to strap himself. And here we go. Hmm. Hmm. He's got a dangling hog. He's got something on his peener again. Is it the penis cage? Yeah. yeah. It's actually a little different than a, than a cage. What is that? It's got a lock on it. Oh. Hmm. Hello, this is Pig Norman Summerton. Well, as you all know, I am a pig, mm -hmm. and pigs like to eat pig slop, and I'm no different. Oh. So what I'm doing today is I'm preparing myself with these lovely little jewels. Mm -hmm. <coughs> hot dogs, chicken hot dogs, actually. That's healthier. And mm -hmm. I just pissed into this container, so it's going. it has fresh piss right now. So my... Preparation process is to put these dogs into my piss and leave them there for hours. Oh mm. boy. Like pickling the hot dogs in his piss. Yeah. Mm. So that when I cook them up, they will be properly flavored mm. with my own pig piss as is appropriate. So there we are. So now I have my chicken dogs resting mm. in the uh, preparation of pig piss, and I'll have it later on tonight for supper. Neat. That's a cool video. I like how he says, I'll have it later tonight for supper. For supper. Uh, I've never heard of this before. Yeah. Some photos. Oh, geez. This pig slop bowl. Uh, this lady, I guess, is that a mistress? Yeah. Yeah, that's his new mistress. She's very pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he, I guess maybe he licks her ashtrays and stuff. 
Yep, keeps them yeah, clean. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Why don't you read the third paragraph? Go ahead, Tom. This revolting. Uh, one oh, up, sorry. Up. Sex for this. <laughs> <laughs> read it. Just read it. No, nah, I need my glasses. Oh, here. Oh, no, no those don't work. Are, we have different Your glasses are right there. You go, go ahead. ahead you read, read it. No, you read it. You read it. That's right. Your glasses it's, are right it there. Should be written, it should be read by a woman. This is the. This is her speaking. No, I think yeah, you it should is. read it. You're the. You're the you Put go your ahead. glasses no, on. No, you get it. You got them on Can't already. Go ahead. can see them far. It's far. <laughs> it's right there. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, su- let's start there. No superior woman would ever be so desperate as to fuck this pathetic moron. Have you looked at... It's laughably tiny pigtail. Let us face it, ladies. Anything less than four inches is not a cock. It is a cunt. Ha, ha, ha. Here it goes. Sex for this retarded faggot, cock-sucking loser, is limited to sucking other male pig creatures' cocks and swallows their disgusting pig poo. Oh, and jerking off to internet porn. Wow, he really likes to be demeaned. He does. He loves it. Goodness. And that just makes him hard, right? Pig goo, by the way, not poo. Oh, yeah. See, well, if you want to read it. No, no, you, you got should, it. No, you should read it. You're good. Go. That's so hard to read because I really like Norm and I and I know he enjoys this kind of language. He loves it. But I like I really like him, so I don't want I don't want to call him names, you know. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Well, there's pig slop. Pig slop, pig bowl. Oh, there's his dong. Permanently locked. Oh, his dick got locked. Hilarious. Yeah. He loves it, man. He loves it. Oh, I think he got panties tattooed on around his dong. Is that new, too? I'd like to meet the mistress. Yeah. She seems cool. Oh. Pig seeks cock. Wow. Wow. Humans are just fascinating, aren't they? Yes. If you, how do you say um, (laughs) in English? (laughs) Uh, uh, Psychology? (laughs) Psychology? (laughs) Claro. Uh, Yeah. It's very interesting. Oh, well, I'm um, glad he's back in action. I do think this is this is what he enjoys. So, yeah. But I understand that the f- self, the repentance phase is part of this whole th- cycle, right? It's a cycle. Like he it's a cycle, acts and then out he, and then he feels he's, bad. He's like deeply immersed in his like kinks and that that whole BDSM world that he's very into. And then I think he gets shamed, goes away, withdraws, comes back. Yeah, fascinating. Yeah, all the emotions that come with it. Yeah. Huh. Compré una camiseta. What did I say, Tom? You said you bought a shirt. I did. I bought a shirt. And I learned that phrase using Babbel. Babbel. B-A-B-B-E-L. The number one selling language learning app. One of my goals for the new year is to speak Spanish fluently so I may uh, speak the language with my sweet husband, Tom. Hey, I see. <laughs> It's really great to have something to go to like Babbel. Um, you know, I don't feel like going on social media all the time. I feel like I want to enrich my life. I want to do something meaningful. And Babbel is great because it's 15 minute lessons um, that make it the perfect way to learn a language on the go. Unlike the infamous language classes you took in high school, Babbel designs their courses with practical real world, real world, real world conversations in mind. Um, and also it uses repetition. It's great. It's so intuitive. They have 14 different languages to choose from, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com and use promo code MOM. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com, code MOM for an extra Three months free. Babble language for life. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Hims. Look at my shiny bald head. It didn't have to be this way, but I don't think Hims was around when I started thinning. If you notice that you're thinning, the time to act is now. Don't wait until you're too bald and you have to buzz your head with a one guard every week or two, like I do. Go to forhims.com, the one stop shop. For hair loss, skin care, and sexual wellness for men, it's time to write a new chapter, one in which you have hair. Hims was created by a guy who knows some men's health conversations are easier online than in person. No more awkward in-person doctor's visits or long pharmacy lines. For Hims connects you to licensed medical professionals online, which can save you hours. Today, Hims is giving you their best offer yet. If you're not happy with your results after 90 days, Hims will give you a full refund. 
Right now, our listeners can get their first visit absolutely free. Go to 4 slash mom. That's 4 slash mom. Prescription products require an online consultation with a healthcare provider. We'll determine if a prescription is appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Remember, that's 4 slash mom. Um, we've been watching the new season of 90 Day Fiance. Oh, my God. That's a can't-miss show. This is a really good season. Season to season, it changes. Sometimes you get, you know, good couples. Sometimes this is really good. This one's really great, mostly because the majority of them are from the Ukraine, the women. And yeah. Ukraine bitches the do new not season play. Is the 20, yeah, this is, oh, man. And <laughs> the funny thing so is, like, great. you can see immediately, you're like, this is not going to work. No. Right away for some of these, you know? Right away. Um, it's just... My favorite one, so there's a few. So they're they're all horrible scenarios. Yeah, These that, this bachelors. Is, this is this not is, the right you season. You need the new season of yeah. 90 Day Fiance. Yeah. The thing is, is that all of these bachelors have horribly undesirable home lives. Yeah. There's it's not really interesting. There's not a winner in the bunch. So when you watch the show, the whole time we're like, gosh, which one of these awful scenarios would I be willing to endure yeah. to come to the US and A? Mm-hmm. There's not a lot. Uh, this is really rough. My favorite is there's this there's this um, drunk guy who lives near Bourbon Street. Yeah, yeah. In New Orleans, right? Uh-huh. He's like a 30 year old guy. He's a partier. He, he has, likes to party. He, he just likes drinks. to party. Yeah. And she spends 30 hours flying from Ukraine. And he he put her on like shittier flights <laughs> because they were cheaper. So she's flying economy. Yeah, she's like, I had to fly to this place. To and then Doha yeah. and then to like in Beijing. Or she's whatever. 25, very pretty. Yeah. Um, bitchy, like you can tell. She's got attitude, right? Yeah. They all have a lot of lip filler too. Yeah. By the time they're 25, like full filler in the lips. She's, she's got a lot of attitude. She um, she gets there. And he's like, you ready to go out? <laughs> Are we going to go he's party? Like, I want to show you Bourbon Street. She's like, I just got off. 30 hours from yeah time. no she's like i want to go to bed he's like really <laughs> you don't want to go out see the place and she's like can we sleep tonight right away i was like this dude how could you not well, understand well also that too someone's tired not, not only that someone's tired but if you're a 30 year old male isn't the priority getting laid yeah. at that point like the the thing that you can dump in yeah just arrived <laughs> You don't want to take that for a ride? Right. I mean, I was watching the show like, you're going to fuck her right now, right? Right. Like, That's what, even I was thinking. And then she walks out in like her little panty shorts. Yeah. And she, he's like, let's go out. And let's she's go like, drink. She's like, let's go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> but he wanted. And I'm looking at her like, get in there, dude. What are you doing? Get in there. And look, even if you don't want to marry her, which at this point, he's not going to marry her probably. Yeah. Like at least dump clips in her for the next 90 days. Enjoy yeah. your t- fuck. And then send her back to Kiev. I didn't understand how he wasn't like, let's stay in here for a couple days. And bang. Yeah. That's what you do at Let that age. Let me empty this thing out. Yeah. <laughs> like, they should, the next scene should be him opening his front door being like, I'm out of cum. <laughs> I have none left. How'd you say? How'd you say? Come. I don't have a third ball. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't make any more. But it really is a testament to his severe alcoholism. Yeah. That that's the thing. He's first just thing. Wants and then the next day, he so she's like, all right. He's like, let's go to Bourbon Street. And he walks her down Bourbon Street, like in the middle of the day, <laughs> drinking. And he's like, isn't this awesome? You can drink everywhere here. <laughs> no, she, at first she goes. Yeah, she's like, it's revolting. She goes, she goes, she goes, people can just drink on the streets? And he's like, yeah, yeah. it's fantastic. He's like, great. Dude, even in the Ukraine, we don't let this shit happen. And she's like, it smells here. <laughs> Which, if you've been to Bourbon Street, you know that's true, right? It's like. <laughs> Bourbon Street is is for partying. It's like a smaller Vegas strip that you can just walk yeah. down. It's just packed with people. It, it smells like piss and puke. <laughs> you're lucky if it's not a hot day. I mean, it's just what it is. It's like it's like it's a, a Key West. Place, like you walk around, yeah. you're like, this fucking just people are just drinking, is it drinking, like, puking, and pissing. <laughs> it's a, I, I imagine it's what like Tijuana is like. Like, hey man, we got a senior frogs. I mean, and it's just yeah, it's just. Bar, it's just bar, bullshit. Bar, bar, yeah, bar, it's you know? like Vegas too. Like you said, yeah. like, hey man, I get this fucking yard. And there's full like of sugary a time alcohol. and a place for like that if you want it. Yeah. I did a New Year's there. Uh, God, like 2002, I spent New Year in, in in New Orleans and on Bourbon Street. I mean, it's chaotic. It felt like 
you know, that's what you do when you're 22, I guess, you know? Like, yeah, I got to tell you, as a 44-year-old woman, I have zero interest. Fuck no, in I don't want to go. I don't want to <laughs> go there at all. I don't want to go to any of those things. But I mean, <laughs> I the, I, what I enjoyed myself. the most was his like pride in it and her disdain for <laughs> that's it. That's the best Because he was like, I want to show you something. And then she was like, this sucks. She's like, no, no. She goes, she goes, I didn't expect USA to be like, uh, you know, perfect sparkling, but this is disgusting. Yeah. She, this, she goes, she goes, Ukraine is cleaner than this. Yeah. <laughs> she couldn't believe it. <laughs> I'm like, damn. And he's, he's like, he's, yeah, he's like really defensive. So anything like if she's like, this is gross. He's like, better than your fucking country. Yeah, I'm that like, was great. God, too, this yeah. is not going to work <laughs> out, dude. <laughs> he doesn't bite his tongue ever. Well, and also, so he's like, I want you to meet my mom because mm-hmm. we're going to get married. And yep. he's like, we what we do out here, because my mom lives kind of far out in the sticks, is we spend the night mm-hmm. at the and person's she house. Like, she was nah. like, nope, I'm not spending night at mother's house. We're going to spend night at my place. Yeah. He's like, no, no, no. Like, she has an extra bedroom. Will you spend the night there? And he, she was like, no, I don't want this. I don't spend night in this other person's house. It's, not other per- it's your future mother-in-law. Yeah. Like and he was like, no, no, no. Like, it's a far drive. So we'll spend the night and we'll come back. And she was oh like, my I God. will not do this. And, the, and then there's this other Ukrainian hoe that comes out here. She's an asshole, though. This one. That one's worse. This one. And so there's this nice Never guy. Never happy. Never. Ha- Sour puss. You know Never, what I'm talking about? Nothing pleases her. No. And so this guy lives out in the sticks in Washington. Like mm-hmm. he's actually really nice. I think super he's nice guy. The most together of the guys, but he lives with his uncle slash cousin Bo. Yeah, he's he goes my uncle he's Bo, my, but he's really my cousin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What? Bo's got like not a lot of teeth. <laughs> um, he's an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, and things haven't like worked out for him. Yeah, you he's know, probably got mental problems. Yeah. So she's like, I don't want to live with Uncle Bo, obviously. I mean, who the fuck does? There he is. There's Uncle Bo. There's Uncle Bo. God, it's such a good show. There's Uncle Bo. There he is. And he's sweet. And you see the picture there of the, yeah, the three. So that's the Ukrainian chick. That's the nice, sweet guy. And there's Uncle Bo. Um, (laughs) And the sweet guy goes, yeah, my Uncle Bo lives with me. And she was like, this needs to not happen. Yeah, no way. I arrive. I don't want Uncle Bo. Well, would you want to live with Uncle Bo? No, it was actually one of the smart the things that one of the few things I agree with her on. Same. Was to not have Uncle Bo. Fuck, could you imagine she's getting out of the shower and she's in her towel and Uncle Bo is there staring at you? That's disgusting. And then Uncle Bo's like, I accidentally (laughs) grabbed her tits. (laughs) Yeah, Uncle Bo's crazy. Yeah. But the one thing I didn't really, really put it over the top for me is when he shows up and he brings her flowers. Yeah. And she her, doesn't, her her fiance her fiance shows up at the airport brings yeah. flowers she doesn't like them because she doesn't like purple flowers she's she don't like, like purple that's crazy yeah who and says then she's that? like it's cold like she's mad that it's cold in his place and he's like well but you live in russia it's winter it's i'm i'm in the sticks in washington and it's cold out so it's cold it's cold in here yeah and she's like so cold so i don't like it He's like, but you just came from the Ukraine. Yeah. And it's cold there, cold too. Cold as fuck there, too. Yeah. Anyway, it, 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 it's such a great show. This season's impeccable. If um, you ever want to get on board the show, the, the time one. is now. Uh, we also got into franchises. <laughs> uh, started with the children, you know, getting them into Harry Potter. Then I uh, came, finally was released from our basement, come upstairs. That's right. It was right around Christmas. So I bought the Die Hard pack. <laughs> The original Die Hard is, of course, a great Christmas movie. And then it has all the other ones. The third <laughs> one's good. The last one's terrible. Terrible. We've been going through that franchise. Which is so fun because I forgot how much I love Bruce Willis. He's and great. How handsome He's he so is. great. And then. And I like that the villains are German, which is kind of a throwback because you don't see many German villains in this day and age. Usually no. they're, they're Middle Eastern now. Always. Maybe. But the German ones are fantastic. <laughs> that was so dumb. So fantastic. Um, and then. We got through that, and we went to the Bourne franchise. That's right. Uh, we'll skip the Jeremy Renner one, but we were watching the He's other no ones. Born. And um, I don't know, the third one last night we watched, not the best one. Yeah. Definitely not. I don't like the shaky camera thing. That's Paul Greengrass. He does a lot of that shit, man. And I don't need he that. He overdoes it with the handheld. Yeah. Fucking, you feel like you're going to throw up on some of these yeah. things. Yeah. I he, have he, having he epilepsy. Yeah, that's, he's like, that's one of his like calling cards. I hate it. Well, because it creates a sense of false urgency, but the whole movie it is ma- urgent. It so makes you turn your head. I mean, yeah, the other I thing that's funny like is that. if you watch movies like this, 
like a franchise like that back to back to back you're like oh this is like the same scene 40 times <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what true. i the last because last night was the third one that's true and they were just like fuck yeah born took everybody out <laughs> like you're like yeah. what's happened 30 times or my favorite is when they're in the control room. they're like, like get an angle on him get him someone get eyes on him where did we what happened they're like everyone's dead they're like oh shit <laughs> he's getting in the subway get eyes on him yeah. why can't i hear this let's go let's go let's go come on team yeah <laughs> what happened they're like mm, born killed everybody I'm like oh <laughs> and so now we're going to get into Tooken. taken uh, took in part two taken taken two and took in the took franchise yeah. Um, but you know what I like about the boy? By the way, he, he's like 62 in the first is one. Is he? Liam Neeson. Liam yeah, Neeson, yeah. All these, and like he and Denzel are doing huge action movies in their 60s now. It's amazing how yeah. much work that takes. He's 68 now. It's crazy. It's crazy. crazy. How old is Denzel? Denzel has a new one coming out. I just saw a trailer for it. Um, he just, he just, he's 66 years old. It's they're senior citizens, and they're like, I'm fucking everybody up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're great at it. They're but great. I, the movies I, are great. You know what I loved is the Sam Jackson one, The Die Hard. Oh, that's the third one. He's he fantastic. That was in that. amazing. Yeah, yeah that's so. like when he, he had exploded uh, on it, because that's right after Pulp Fiction, I believe. Yeah. And so, like, you know, Pulp Fiction's like the biggest fucking movie of the decade. And everybody, I mean, people knew Sam Jackson as like a character actor, and now he was like, oh, so you funny. know, a star. Um, and also, too, you f I forgot that iconic outfit that he has in the first Die Hard, the oh, wife beater. Yeah. And, and you pointed it out that I go, you know, the thing is his build in it, he has like a, it's a very normal build. It's not like Stallone and Schwarzenegger. Or even Matt Damon. Yeah. In the where movies. they're more jacked. Yeah. Bruce Willis just looks like just healthy. Yeah. He looked great. But you're like, that's what, that's desirable. It's so, I'll tell you, as a, as a, as a, a lady viewer. I really liked him in the first Die Hard because, like, yeah, he looks like a guy who's just, a, he's in shape. He yeah, looks like a regular. He's not neglecting himself. He looks yeah. like a normal guy. He's a, he's a normal, above normal looking, right? Yeah. He's accessibly, he's an accessibly handsome guy. He kind of reminds me of you. Hmm. He's got your little bad attitude. Mm -hmm. and I could see you I doing see stuff like that. Mm -hmm. He's he's your type. Shooting up a building? Yeah. <laughs> John McClane. <laughs> And yeah. he's got an. I just liked him. I liked. I, I like all these silly movies. And what I like about Jason Bourne, I like that he's kind of a regular looking. He guy. seems. Uh, he's a very. Uh, you know what the funny thing is? You you're watching it and you, they push in and you're like, "That's Matt Damon. That's Jason Bourne." Anytime there's a wide shot with a crowd, you're like, "Oh, he just seems like a normal white guy." Yeah. Like he just doesn't. It does. He doesn't stand out. Uh, yeah. He kind of blends in. Which right. is great for the character. Which is as a, a spy, I yeah. guess, perfect. Yeah. And he's really jacked in that first Bourne movie. Jesus. What he is, is he's really thin in that yeah. movie. Looks and, um, great. I, I, you know, I went to his 40th birthday party. I remember that. That's the weirdest fucking thing that's, one of the weirdest things that's ever happened to me is I did a show at the Hollywood Improv and I did a 15 minute set, had a great set. Just one of those lucky, just great sets, you know? <laughs> like where you just, sometimes you get off stage and you're like, ugh. And sometimes it's great. And I go into the bathroom to take a leak. And as I'm taking a leak, there's somebody like standing by the sink. And he goes, thank you. And I turn and I go, for what? And he goes, for that set. And I turn again and it's Matt Damon. <gasps> right? And I go, I go, oh, I go, well, you just said thank you. I didn't know what the hell this, uh, what, what was it was about, you know? And he goes, no, that set was great, man. So I finished peeing and I go, and then I, I recognized. Wait you know, a minute. He's talked to you with your dick in your hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Were you at a urinal? I'm at a urinal and he's by, he's over by the sink. Oh, hilarious. So, but he's so, not looking at your dick. No, no. He's just over there. And I go, oh, well, you just said thank you. I didn't know what, thank you, what it was for. He goes, oh, that set, man. He's that like, was so that funny. Dick. So then I go wash my hands. I keep talking to him briefly. And I'm like, well, yeah, man, appreciate it. And blah, blah, blah. Then I go outside. And I'm standing in the parking lot and uh, like the, the improv parking lot, you know, which mm -hmm. like goes like at the time you could park and then walk into the side room. So there's, a, there's it's full. There's 300 some people out there. And I'm talking to Tom Papa. So Tom Papa, blah, 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 uh, we're just catching up. Matt Damon walks over. Matt Damon at the time is uh, executive producing a show for Tom Papa. Mm. So I'm like just talking to him and he keeps talking about s certain jokes I was telling and um, he goes uh, well we're gonna go have dinner uh, over here do you want to come and I was like 
no. I was like, no, I'm just going to go home. And then I kind of just stop and think about it. I was like, no, 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 you know what? I will come. Yeah. I, I don't know why. I just was like, I, I will come. So then I go across the street and uh, it's Matt. And then John Krasinski shows up with Emily Blunt. Love her. And Matt Damon's like, this is Tom. <laughs> He's a fucking hilarious comedian. And then John's like, oh. You <laughs> are you? Yeah. yeah. He's like, that's cool. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. And then uh, Matt Damon's wife was there, and then who's he married to? She's a, like a regular. She's not a. a she's not an actor. She's a person. She's a regular person. Nice. Um, very nice. Oh, that's so cool that he married a regular lady. She has a, a como se dice, a Latin last name. I and love the, it. Lu, I love Luciana. It. Maybe she's Italian or she's from another country. I don't know. Was Pero he so Matt Damon? What did he order for dinner? Was it mustache well, cafe? They, no, it was like uh, I forget the name of it, but they ordered like um, share plates, like oh, like fifty share. share plates. Yep, and then other people showed up, and I remember I I saw somebody else there, and I was like, "This is crazy that we're sitting at Matt Damon's birthday party." <laughs> and the person I was looking at went like this. No. I was like, "Okay," but he was nice to you. He was nice. I left before anybody. Because I had like it's so uncomfortable. Yeah, I was like, "What am I gonna fucking add to this?" I know the because it's is like a it's one of those tables that has twenty five people at it, and I'm here. The only person that I've actually spoken to or know is Papa. He's a few seats down. Matt's down there. Krasinski's here, and I'm like, yeah, you know, you gonna add? To I this? eat a few bites, and then I'm like, I think I should get going. <laughs> You know? Well, it's true because you think like, oh, it'd be so cool to hang out with. So yeah, and yeah. So. And then I, I actually was like, did the thing where I was like, thanks so much. I mean, I made like the earliest departure because I was like, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Because at the end of the day, they're just people and you're not really friends with them. And exactly. you, you kind of have a familiarity because you've seen him in movies. Yeah, I want to pull a chair up and be like, dude, let's talk about Bourne. Yeah, you that's know? what I'm saying. Yeah. And also, I wish there was a Jason Bourne school I could go to to learn all the cool stuff that he did you know at yeah. the timothy treadstone treadwell yeah there, school. there is by the way there Spy is a school, school. There, well there's this thing called the cia and they yeah. hire people and then there's also jujitsu schools and it, you could go to those but it, yeah because but i want to know the secret shit where he's like when he, you know when he's with the german girl in the first movie and he's like how do i know that in the parking lot i know the license plates of seven cars yeah how do i know that that exit is there and how do i know that that guy weighs this much and that i could take him down like that's the information i want to yeah, know it's just training it's all training training you can just, yeah, you just gotta training? get you gotta get trained yeah i like i like how he knows he's just that well trained and he's like and i like when they're in in um because you know what happens when you're really Gola? well trained yeah training takes over that's that's what i'm saying so that's you don't what stop i want and think it just that's what Tomorrow. I. That's who I want. It's like be. when I dunk, I just fucking jump yeah, and I dunk. Yeah. You know. But like you know how he was in Goa with his girlfriend yeah. Maria, and then he's like, "We've been compromised. We have to go now." Mm -hmm. Like he just fucking knew that because he's like, "That car isn't a normal car for this region." Yeah. I think you're perfect for that's spy I, school. That's and what like I'm that saying. Type of thing. Like when I think of you, I'm like, I could see you doing spy that. shit, right? Spy shit. I want like ten different passports and identities yeah. and shit mm -hmm. that'd be kind of cool yeah how long ago did i go to his birthday party how old is he now because it was a while i remember ago. that night i think it's before we had kids i remember i want to say oh damn 10 years ago 10 years ago that was 10 years ago so that'd been 2010 holy shit jeez yeah. he looks great and wait what's the actual date october that makes october sense. 8th that makes sense what would you I ask i think him? it was his four maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe it was like 41, 42, 43. What well, would know. you ask Matt Damon if you, like, if you could ask him anything now? You know, one of the things I would ask, because mm. I actually have, I remember this thought, and this is why I would <laughs> ask it. I remember seeing the trailer for Born and being like, Matt Damon is not a badass. Like, yeah, it's yeah. hard to take your mind there now, because now it's yeah, an Yeah, because it was Goodwill Hunting before and that. I wanted to, a I would want to ask him, did you feel like this could fail terribly? Like as, right. a, as a choice to be like, I'm going to do a, a badass thing, you know, uh, which like, I, you know, now the character is, it's like iconic and everything. But I remember watching that trailer and being like, Matt Damon Same. is going to kick everybody's ass. Because he wasn't like and, that and, back and, then. And day. feeling like this cannot be real. And then seeing the movie and being like, this was awesome. And like, he was great in it. But that's what I would be curious about. If he was like, were you in a panic 
Yeah. But uh, as that. this yeah. was coming out, like, is this going to be a fa- a huge failure, or did you feel like this was a you know yeah solid? Well, it's funny because uh, what I've noticed in all these Jason Bourne movies is he never eats, he, he never sleeps, Mm-mm. he doesn't shit, and he definitely didn't masturbate in all of they these never movies. Show, they do show him having making love a few times or That's implying true. it. So maybe he was getting his fix, but he should be jerking off more. And he should be taking dumps and they're not showing it. And, and what's really upsetting. It's disappointing. Yeah, what's really upsetting is that he's in Berlin, which is the home of Currywurst, which is one of my favorite things. And mm. there are stands everywhere for Currywurst. He never once stops yeah. and gets a Currywurst in Berlin. Like, what are you doing? Again, there's so many questions. You're in the best cuisine. Yeah, this shit's so good. Matt, if you're listening, <laughs> come on the show. And we also watched Basic Instinct, which I think held up pretty well. If you look at Sharon Stone, because we remember watching. She looks unreal. In she's that. gorgeous. And by the way, 1992 standard of hotness is different than 2020 because that bitch is all natural. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like her teeth are natural. Bitches didn't get work done back here. So right. she's like all natural. Yeah. Gorgeous. And she looks just perfect. In the God, movie. she's stunning. Yeah. And, and she's like, what, like 30? She's 30. And you know what, too, is that when this movie came out, I remember people were like, dude, you see your vag. But I never actually saw it when I was in the, th- you know? Yep. And now we got to freeze frame it and see her vag, which was really you cool. You see the bush, really. No, I saw vagina, well, labia. Yeah. Google her vagina so we can look at it now. <laughs> I saw it. I this saw is what's like, important. I saw like a, a vulva. I saw it. I saw the meat. Now there's the meat. You can see the meat in the right light. Hmm. Yeah. Not just hair. Really? I saw her meats. Look. I can't really see it. Hold on. Dude, I'm telling you, I saw like go go more can vagina. You, can, you, can you push in? No, because there's one there's her meats. You can see Babe, it. I'm trying to the see. The left meat. The left one. You can really see her meat more. Okay. There, see? See? The slit. Okay, hold you on. You can see it. No, you're right. You're right. Because there's bush on the right there. Go to the left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we're looking at Sharon Stone's beef right now. Isn't that wild? Yeah. She's like legit a huge star. Dude, that beef has not squeezed out any kids. I would get in there. I want to get in there. Look how perfect it. Even her beef is perfect. If I met her now, I'd be like, can I get in there? But don't you think vaginas are not mm. pretty though? I mean, that is not cute. It's only appealing because you know what it is. Right? Yeah. Like if I were to True. show you that and you didn't know what it yeah, was. Yeah, you'd, you'd be like, like what, what is that? What the fuck is that thing? Is that person okay? Is it a wound? Yeah. Yeah. And it's all brown and mush. Mm-hmm. What yeah. do you think's least attractive, a vagina or a penis? I think a penis is, is definitely less, less attractive. It's a dangling piece of skin, you know? But it looks nice when it's erect. I guess it depends who you ask. I think they're beautiful when they're erect. Beautiful? When, yeah, of course. Really? Penises are gorgeous. Hmm. Why do you think they carved uh, David nude, not covered up? But, but soft. Look at his dong. Flaccid. They should have made him hard. But that's a totally, I mean, it's against your argument. <laughs> that's true, but... It's still pretty when it's soft. So you, so you think a, a hard penis is gorgeous? Go, yes. Okay. I'm I wish you. I wish David had a hard on. That would be such a better piece of art. All right. Let's um. We got to wrap this up. So a couple talks before we go. Fuck yeah, dude. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is gonna put some pep in my fucking step, bro. Heard bitches was looking for me. <laughs> now, by the way, I've been curating these for weeks. Now, yeah. our schedule got all messed up because of your accident and the COVID and blah blah blah. So this is I'm I'm seeing these for the first time in weeks. I'm okay. so excited. I'm excited to see them. Gosh. I bust your goddamn teeth out. Let me I'm see sorry. you, motherfucker. I'm sorry, chill. You come Oh, I got that shit on camera. <laughs> That's wild. I thought you'd like that one. I like that a lot. You got it. Merry that Christmas. That old guy wasn't fucking around. And that other kid's stoked that they got it on video. I would be, t- I'd be that kid. I'd be like, <laughs> that was fucking great. We got it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Oh, man. But it looks like fun. It looks like fun, but it also looks like this could go wrong really quickly. <laughs> He's like, what's going on there? These guys are like, chilling, dog. <laughs> but they're in like a hole in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. And it's they're a like, pothole. They're like, this is a pool, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a pool. Holy shit. Out of my fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> my you don't, I'm 
I said please again. I'm asking you one time. No, don't wait. I'm going to hit you. No. Get the fuck off me, money. Those are just two drunk guys fighting in a yeah. living room. I yeah. thought you would enjoy that. Takes me back to uh, North Carolina days. <laughs> Saw a lot of that. Really? Yeah, that's how dudes, yeah. That's how country, me wrong. country guys <laughs> get a few beers and I'm like, oh, I'll tell you something there, good Travis. Yeah, feels very familiar. <laughs> oh, no. How, what's up, everybody? How's your guys' night doing? Good. I would love to have some more followers, especially all you single ladies. <laughs> especially give me hearts. And I love to be followed. Cool. Yeah. Well, he seems sweet. He's sweet. I think what I wanted out of this talk was like maybe help him improve. Because as we've learned, you can't just be like, I want ladies. You, you've got to offer something up in order to get something, Here's some what, entertainment value. This is what this dude, I don't think he's going to understand this though. <laughs> and I don't know why I think that. But he just needs to show who he really is. And then the ladies will follow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. Like do what you normally do. Show us your real personality. What do you think and is personality? I think he's nice. I think he's probably sweet. I yeah. do. But I think he should be like, this is my cat Muffins, mm-hmm. and I like to pet her every day. And like, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That, that's being yourself. Yeah. That's who he is. He's like, I overeat. You're right. If you go. <laughs> <laughs> I eat my feelings. All right. Let's go to the next one. Panting. Kobe. <laughs> Panting. Pro-V. This is a present talk. Pro V, so drop them panties for me. <laughs> this is a prison talk, and he's bragging that he gets name brand Pantene. That's what. That's a big flex in prison. It's a big flex to have name brand like that. For sure. And not I'm, commissary fucking shampoo. He's got Pantene. Pantene. Pro V, yeah. And I must say, I've used many conditioners in my life. Mm-hmm. Pantene really fucking works, and Tresemme, and that's some cheap ass shit. From like Rite yeah, Aid, yeah. Trace and May all day, bros. Like, don't even spend the money on expensive conditioner. Just get that Pantene. It's he's real. So, how was your day today? Good. How about you? It was good. Did you eat yet? Yeah, I ate a little bit ago. Where'd you end up getting food from? Just found a uh, takeout from Antonio. Oh. Oh. Who wanted to go there, Haley? Who? Haley. The girl you took out to Antonio's earlier today? What are you talking about? So you're going to tell me that you have no idea who Haley is, no idea what I'm talking about, and you weren't with her today at Antonio's getting food? I don't know which one of your friends you're listening to, but no, I don't know. Okay, that has nothing to do with any of my friends, as if I did literally did not see you in there today. I definitely did, though. I definitely did. You can go fuck yourself, honestly. This is a, that's a great talk. Me yeah, like yeah. that. It's super, like, high drama. Right? Yeah. And I think it's real. I don't think this is a stage. That definitely feels real. That was real as fuck. I and, love yeah. the touch of drinking champagne while you're calling somebody like, how was your food? What did you get it with? <laughs> it's, that's some fucking Tony I, Soprano shit I also shit believe right that here. she's about to fucking... Like, stab him. Oh, bro. Like, the video's off for a reason now. Yeah, bro. I would have put the camera on him, too, though, if I could get a two-way. Yeah, yeah. And be like, oh. Dude, her manicure, too, is on point. Who? 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 Oh, shit. Holy shit. Let someone attack you and see what your canine does. (laughs) Let's do this home invasion style. Ah, Can I help you? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ah! Give me one more bite. Fuck that. Yeah. I mean, cool talk, but fuck all that. I know. Yeah. That is cool, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, one time when I toured the military, I think we were in Afghanistan, they let me get attacked by a German shepherd. You did it? <laughs> mm-hmm. Jesus but Christ. they put that suit on you so that when the dog bites you, it doesn't hurt. And the suit's really, really heavy. And it is fucking terrifying to have a German <laughs> shepherd running at you and biting your arm. But they, you know, the, they command it right away to stop. Yeah. It's terrifying as fuck. But it's fun. So this comment deserves a uh, video. Yes, I do regret my tattoos. <laughs> um, I'm currently <laughs> undergoing laser removal my next treatment is january 16th 
<laughs> so this If you're one. listening, <laughs> it'd be worth watching. Well, what do you see, Tom? Well, a lady who actually seems like a probably a good looking lady. Yeah. She's sweet too. She has a spider web tattoo on her forehead, completely there, and then there's a tattoo around her eyes, and there's there's a darkening tattoo around her eyes. It's like, a Dia de los Muertos. Yeah, and then like it looks skull. like there's fucking teeth around her eyes. <laughs> and then she also has tattoos around her actual mouth and her cheeks. It's in, it's intense. It's <laughs> really intense. So a little background. She was a drug addict. Surprise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did a little bit of methy meth and got those tattoos. That happens. It happens all the time. So I went to the tattoo shop. Guy asked me if I was sure that I wanted to do this. I said, <laughs> yeah, you know, in my head, I'm thinking, well, I'm going to be a drug dealer, so why not? I'm never going to need to, you know, be presentable. So we started. Um, we started with the web and around my eyes and my nose. I didn't get my cheeks and my mouth done until the second session. The most painful part of getting my face tattooed was probably my lips and like over here by my ear the eyes didn't hurt too much they swelled more than anything um i have two sessions two four hour sessions in my face and you know i thought it was a great all right jesus christ see she said that uh, she said the eyes didn't hurt. It was the lips that hurt. I would have guessed the eyelids and then <laughs> under the eyes would have hurt excruciatingly. But yeah. Do you hey. know how often, how often you probably forget that your face looks like that? Like when you, you know what I mean? Like you just, if it's been a few years, you just get up and you go out and you're like, can I get a coffee? And someone's like. I know. Okay. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. My face is crazy. I forgot. Would you rather have this done to your face mm-hmm. or just lose your left arm. Jesus Christ. I mean, they're both rough. That's the point. <laughs> Fuck. They're both life ruiners. Yeah. I know. It's so tough, right? Here's the thing, because the, you know, the quick answer is like, well, yeah, you can get this removed. Let me tell you something. Mm. This shit's not coming off. <laughs> it's not you're gonna look fucked up the rest of your life. Yeah, it's not gonna come off. It's gonna it's gonna fade, so she'll look like she just has she used to have face tats. But it's not gonna be like normal. Dude. I guess I'm <laughs> one hand in it from now on. Really? I think so. I'm not I would not want to go through life like that. I don't you, want either scenario, but right. this one's terrible. You could have a prosthetic arm. Yeah. It would suck. It would suck. People like your your interactions with people would be a lot better one armed. <laughs> That's so true than this. Yeah. People would be like, Oh, you lost your arm. Jesus Plus Christ. Plus you could come up with a cool story for the arm. Yeah. You're like, I lost it in Vietnam or whatever. All right, last one. Wait, wait, hold on. What would you do, Nadav? This is to all you women. <laughs> Don't play with people's feelings, including you, Gabriella. <laughs> I'm guessing Gabriella hurt this man's feelings. Oh, Jesus. Let's go have lunch. Nidov, face tats or arm missing? Um, I was going to say the, the same thing that Tom said because of your interactions with people. Yeah. You'll get a lot more sympathy missing an arm than you will having a skull tattooed on your face. That's true. And there are chicks You're out there. just going to scare people, man. Yeah. And you could still get a job with one arm. Yes. And if it's your left arm, it's not your dominant arm, at least in my case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, I'm a righty, you know. You figure yeah. out whatever you did with your left, just figure it out, you know. Yeah. Um, any? Uh, I would choose a face tat. <laughs> For sure. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm definitely feeling you on that. <laughs> What's your reasoning? Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't feel doesn't feel like a risk to me. The the <laughs> arm. I need my arm too much. Look, I mean, even to do what I'm doing right now, I need both my arms. Yeah, but no one's going to hire you because you look batshit crazy with no. those facial tats. So in his defense, we, we would. We would. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You just have to stay working for us for the rest of your <laughs> life. And just like any time that he would like, I don't know, if anything ever went wrong, we'd be like, yeah, but we were so stupid to hire that fucking guy. <laughs> like his face is He's crazy. Smoking dude. meth. What were we thinking? Face tats. Yeah. If he fucked one thing up, we'd be like, come on. Face tats. Yeah. He's so fucked up. We got. We cannot have face tat guy here. 
Um, all right. <laughs> one Let's more. Go. One more. All right. Come on. It's the one thing bringing me joy this month. Okay. Don't play with people's feelings. All right. Here's this one. I want to have a real conversation with a woman. I don't care what you look like. <laughs> I want to have a decent conversation. <laughs> I don't want nudes. I don't give out gift cards. I want conversation. That's you great. don't have to wear a mask in your videos, you know that? You can't yeah. contaminate people over TikTok. Hey everybody, what's up? So, I got my homegirl working on some rainbow braids for me. Yep. There you Shit go. Shit ain't done yet. There's any next year. But, you know, <laughs> things only get better. <laughs> got both arms. Whatever your opinion of beauty <sighs> is, personally, I don't give a fuck. Cool. If you feel beautiful, if you feel attractive... If you feel like a person, if you're able to look people in the eyes and tell them that you are an individual, that's exactly what you are. We're going to finish this pretty soon, and I hope to show you the results. Okay, so <laughs> thanks a lot for that one. You got it. Um, it really is good to be back in studio. It is, yes. God. Super fun. Um, Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you for listening to this show, for watching this show. We're excited about a whole new year. Uh, thank you again to everybody that joined us on the live show. We have some pretty, um, I think, incredible live show experiences coming up. I feel like I can comfortably say that two times, at least twice in the next six months, we are going to be releasing special events that you're going to be like, holy fucking shit. I'm going to shit my balls out of my You're dick. You're going to shit your balls through your dick into your dad's mouth. <laughs> it's incredible. And we're super excited about shit it. So uh, appreciate all that. Hope you have a wonderful year. God damn it. Let's make 2021 way better than 2020. Our closing song is Jump in the Tub, Let Me Eat You by <laughs> Odd Track Numbers. See you next week. Bye, Gene. Bye. Just let me eat you. Get with that ball. Ay, ay, ay. Just let me eat you one time. Ay, ay, ay. Just let me eat you one time. I'ma make you cry. Just let me eat you one time. Ay, ay, ay. Just let me eat you one time. You know what I'm saying? I can cook for you. Clean up your house. I'ma play with your food. Then you can get it. I can cook for you. Clean up your house. I'ma play with your food. Then you can get it. Get up on a tray. Jump in the tub. Ay ay ay. Jump in the tub. Get with that ball. Jump in the tub. Ay ay ay. Jump in the tub. Get with that ball. Jump in the tub. Ay ay ay. Jump in the tub. Get with that ball. Jump in the tub. Ay ay ay. Let me eat you one time. Let me eat you one time. Hi, mommy. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of your mom's house. And if you had a great time, Watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans.